Hallelujah. Someone says for an encounter this morning, give God a shout of praise. You are welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. I know the God of this commission has blessed you with countless of testimonies. For those here at the Global Headquarters, please go behind the success entrance. Pastors and officials are there to document your testimonies. The word of God declares in Psalm 34 verse 1, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. You appreciate the Lord for the exploits you will encounter via your praise today. Raise your voice and give him glory and praise. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. We give you glory. We appreciate you from the the of our heart for the experts will encounter in all spheres of our lives as we we'll praise you today be thou exalted and magnified in Jesus mighty name is a faithful God give him glory and honor Hallelujah. all the glory must be to the Lord
you, we give all the glory and praise this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. You may please be comfortably seated in God's presence. Please listen to this information. The banners for the home fellowship are out. In Papa's book, Walking in the Supernatural, Papa said, purity is the secret behind power, while sin makes power to soar. Jam your hands to the glory of God as we invite the following testifiers to share their testimonies. Wealth, Agoba, Samuel Omobayo, and Lillian Dikia. While they come, listen to the following information. A very, very warm welcome to this awesome service. The Word of God is a custodian of divine secrets. Salvation Word of Life Bible Institute presents her international basic certificate course for the month of April 2024. Basic certificate course will be both live and online for countries with GMT plus on a minus one time zones to participate. Nigeria inclusive. Pastors hosting Bible school should please announce at their branches. School begins tomorrow Monday, 8th and ends Friday 19th of April 2024 at 7.30 a.m. Please note, school fee scholarship is available for students who cannot afford it. For registration, visit wobi.smhos.org or call any of the numbers as displayed. Visit the Knowledge Center or e-store at smhosstore.com immediately after the fourth service to obtain today's message and all the messages in hard copy and flash drive. Or subscribe to our monthly collections on MP3 and DVD. Amongst the materials are message, Excelling with our Limits, March 2024, Week of Spiritual Empowerment, Glory Rain 2024, MP3 and DVD. Books, The Wonders of Wisdom, Wisdom for Creativity, Wisdom for Family Peace, Wisdom Quotes Volume 1, Wisdom Quotes Volume 2, Wisdom to See Ahead, Winning with ease and the winning mentality. Be committed to raising a godly generation by acquiring the right knowledge for godliness and excellence that will make you proud as a parent or guardian. Visit the Wisdom Bank for the definite tools or call the number as displayed. To commit to kingdom advancement and expansion, please refer to the detailed information on your screen. Also for profit offering, send your seed to the account as displayed. Those are desiring to build worship centers in any of the categories displayed on the screen. Please call the Global Missions Office on any of the numbers as displayed. As part of our Children's Day Celebration 2024, the Children Ministry announces Leading Lights as a competition for children between the ages of 5 to 11. Parents and guidance are to visit smhos.org slash leading lights to register their children or pick the forms at their various branches. Registration ends on Sunday, 14th April, 2024. For further inquiries, call any of the numbers as displayed. Okma International Academy Infant Junior and College announces admission into pre-kindergarten primary 1 to 5 and year 7 GSS 1 for 2024-2025 academic session. Applicants are to fill and submit an online application form at okma.org.ng. Note, applicants for the college must be 10 years by September 2024. For entrance, examination, dates, venues and all the details, please visit okma.org.ng or call any of the numbers as displayed. There will be service group prayers on Friday, 12th of April, 2024, for decoration units, special intelligence units, and safety units at the Kingdom Arena for those at the Global Headquarters at 5 p.m. All concerned should fast before coming. Water baptism hosts immediately after this service, while live foundation class for new converts and believers hosts tomorrow Monday by 5 p.m. at the Global Headquarters. The class is designed to give you stability in your Christian adventure. Please come with your writing materials. Widows meeting hosts tomorrow Monday, 8th of April, 2024, at 4pm at the Global Headquarters. To receive daily prayers, prophecies and wisdom quotes for living, like, share and follow David Ibiomi on Facebook, at David Ibiomi on Instagram, at David underscore Ibiomi, X at David Ibiomi. Enjoy yourself in God's presence. God bless you. Your name and testimony. My name is Wael Tagoba. I'm here to thank God for financial blessing and uh, his faithfulness in my life. Um, I was blessed financially yesterday, and uh, I'm 40 years old today. I'm here to return all the glory to God. Your name and your testimony. My name is Samuel Mobayo. My testimony is on God's faithfulness in my life. Before I joined Salvation Ministry, I used to be sick and take drugs every time. 
But ever since I joined Salvation Ministry, I don't used to take drugs again. I used to take the Holy Communion. I'm enjoying Divine Head. And today, God added another year to my life. I'm 30 years young. I come to return glory to God. Your name and testimony. Praise the Lord, Church. My name is Deke and Lillian. I want to thank God for his sweetness in my life. For a period of a week now, I've been down. But I stepped out yesterday for a and God favored me. And as of Thursday, God added a year to my life. I'm 24. Praise the Lord. She shared with us, she went for evangelism and got healed. Rise to your feet and appreciate God for all these testimonies.
voice and begin to magnify the name of the Lord. Father, we give you all the glory. Be that exalted, be that magnified in Jesus' mighty name. Please be seated as we go to God in prayers. Job 34 verse 29. When he giveth quietness, who then can make trouble? Isaiah 32 and verse 18. And my people shall dwell in a peaceable habitation and in short dwellings and in quiet resting places. You pray against Satan from corrupting the atmosphere of peace over salvation ministries to hinder the success of today's services across the globe. You will decree all and comfort and total perfection in all. Rest your feet, rest of us, pray in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prepare against it. We pray against Satan from corrupting the atmosphere of peace over salvation misses in order to hinder the success of today's services with anything called evil, anything called emergency, anything called crisis from the pit of hell. The blood of Judah against the devil, the Lord of Trump against his words, we decree all that concern to the service we shall enjoy all our comfort, total perfection in all, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, Isaiah 43, verse 4, since thou was precious in my sight, thou has been honorable, and I have loved thee, therefore will I give men for thee and people for thy life, he was sentenced to death. Anyone that will attempt to attack David Ibiome, his family, or any genuine attendee of today's services in salvation ministries as we come, as we stay, as we return. Rest of us, pray in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let them seize upon them and let them go that quick into hell for wickedness is not dwellings and among them we sentence to death anyone that will attempt to attack David Ibiome to attack his family or any genuine attendee of today's services any amopper, any assassin any kidnapper of tactics of attacking us as we come, as we stay, as we return from today's services we take the vengeance of God for upon them why they are thinking, why they are planning and just of God persecute them in the name of Jesus he has said us appreciate him father we give you all the glory be that exalted in Jesus mighty name please be seated as we welcome the officials to share online testimonies Salvation Ministries Church, number 57, Abiyokuta Expressway, opposite Soul Mail Cement Bus Stop, Dopoemo, Lagos State, Nigeria, from Clara Uduimo Onoke. A week after I redeemed my glory reign sacrificial seed, God favored me financially. Secondly, the soul I invited to church on Easter Sunday, 31st March 2024, informed me that the battery of his tricycle they were supposed to drive to church was stolen. In, in faith, I told him he will recover it. The following day, 1st April 2024, the stolen battery was brought to his workshop by someone searching for a buyer. That was how he recovered his lost battery. battery. Thank you, Lord. Salvation Ministries Church, Idora Express Road, beside Crystal Fluid Station, you acquire one state, Nigeria, from Peace, Elijah. For 28 years, I had an abnormal growth from my anus that was associated with pain occasionally. The growth had suddenly started increasing in size and the pain got more intense. On Sunday, 3rd March 2024, God's servant instructed that we write down what we want God to do for us and I obeyed promptly. To the glory of God, the 28 years growth began to shrink. I have observed myself and the growth has disappeared and the associated pain has stopped. God is indeed a miracle worker. Praise God. Salvation Ministries Church number 29, Ayegbami Street, Ijebode, Ogun State, Nigeria, from Ufua for Kelis. During one of the services this year, God's servant thought on putting the kingdom of God first in all things and emphasized on the vision one week, one so. From then, I decided to be more committed to kingdom advancement. With this understanding, I immediately used my house to host the house fellowship 
engaged in evangelism within my neighborhood and invited all the souls I want to the house fellowship and to church. As of today, the house fellowship has grown from just two members to 14 members. To God be the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Salvation Ministry Church, Sacra Car, After Pharmacy, Opposite Celtics Office, Cotonou Bene Republic, from Goodness Augustus. Since I joined Salvation Ministries, God has been so faithful to me and my family. On Saturday, 30th March 2024, I received a call that my daughter in Crawford University, Ogun State, was rushed to the hospital. Also, my son was convulsing that same day. After medical checkup, she was discharged, but on approaching the exit, she fell again. Immediately, I called my resident pastor, and she was prayed for. To the glory of God, my children are okay now and made whole. I thank God. God is faithful. Stand to your feet and give him all the glory. Shall we from the dead of our heart give thanks to God this morning? Let's celebrate his faithfulness in our heart. Let's glorify his name forever. Let's give him praise and glory. There's no one like him. Let's lift up our hands to heaven. And magnify the king of all kings to glorify his name forever. Blessed be the name of the most high God. In Jesus' most wonderful name we have given thanks. Where you find yourself determines what you attract. Saul found himself among the prophets. And he began to prophesy. And what came is Saul also amongst the prophets. This is a week of celebration. Our anniversary this week. Lord, because I've come to be a part of the service this week, celebration will not cease in my life. I will have reason to celebrate this week. Something must happen in my life that will make me to what? Celebrate. Because our vision will be celebrating on the 13th of this month, 27 years. Lord, I am part of this morning service. Whatever you have done in salvation ministry, do it in my life. Go ahead and speak to God in the name of Jesus. Declare it your week of celebration. Open your mouth and declare that this week you have every curse to celebrate. This shall be to me a week of celebration. Celebration will not cease in my habitation. Are you talking to God? Every part of your life you keep celebrating. You will not stop celebrating this particular month. This particular week. All through this month you will be celebrating. Blessed be the name of God. In Jesus mighty name. You will never stop celebrating in the name of Jesus. Just as his church celebrates, that's how you two will celebrate. In the precious name of Jesus. And so shall it be. Father, speak to us to your word this morning. And let each and everyone have a specific word that will bring a change in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, everyone that went to yesterday for soul winning, I declare especially blessed. For obeying divine instruction, you went out for souls. I decree, whatever God has for this week of celebration, May your own be an extra one. Amen. Yes, God wrought miracles, but the Bible said, and he wrought special miracles. When he gives others miracles, may he give you a special miracle. Amen. What men can do for you, God will do for you this week. Amen. For every one of us that went out, we shall have reason to laugh. Amen. In the precious name of Jesus. Amen. And those who did not go, shout the amen on our behalf. Amen. You see, you, you are not, because it's not you, you see the way it's amen. say the amen on our behalf. They will not say better than you. You say the amen for yourself. Amen. So the amen are more. So who went out are more than those who do not go. God bless. Give me a big hand. You may be seated. Today we are looking at praise for greater exploits. Praise for what? Praise for greater exploits. The word exploit is a daring. Notable and memorable deeds. That's what I mean. I said exploit is a daring, notable and memorable deed. Exploit is heroic, 
extraordinary and landmark art or accomplishment. Our God is a God of exploits. At creation, it demonstrates capacity for exploits. The Bible is a book of exploits. And if you partner with God, then you are bound to enjoy exploits. In Mark 10, 27, it said, with men it's impossible, but not with God. Jolly God then said, with men it is impossible, but not with God. For with God, all things are what? That means all things. And if thou can believe, all things are possible to him that believe it. Mark 9, 23. So we command exploits when we partner with God. He didn't say to God, he said with God. And those who do know their God, they shall be strong and do exploits. Daniel eleven thirty-two. 32. We partner with God through faith. Through what? Faith. And we demonstrate our faith through praise. As a, with men it may be possible, with God all things are what? Possible. With. That means partner with me. I said we partner with God through what? Faith. And we demonstrate our faith through what? Praise. How do I know? Psalm 106 verse 12. Shall we read this together? Want to go? We then believe they his words. That's faith. Is that true? Are you not reading the Bible? Let's read together. I want to go. Then believed they his words. The son is praise. If you believe his word, then sing his praise. Faith is demonstrated through what? Praise. You can't believe his word and not praise God. So I hear. What is praise? Do you know this early hours of studying? Reve when it comes to praise, revelation is not enough because you must demonstrate it. If all you do is to know about praise and you don't dance, you don't sing, it will not work. Do you understand me? You just talk praise, it's wonderful. But you don't sing, you don't dance, nothing will produce. So revelation must be demonstrated. If you know about praise, you quote all the scriptures of praise, yet you don't sing, you don't dance. Not a will happen. What is praise? Praise is exalting God for who he is. It is exalting and magnifying God in words, songs, clapping and dancing for his greatness. That's what praise is. God loves to be praised. He loves to be praised. He's excited when you praise him. He deserves our praise because he's a great God. Psalm 96, 1 and 4. Our God is a big and great God. Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. For the Lord is great and greatly to be what? Praise. Is to be feared above all gods. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. We are praising him because he's a great God. He deserves our praise. The atmosphere of praise, the atmosphere of power. Because God lives and manifests in praise. Psalm 22 verse 3. God inhabits the praises of his people. Praise is an ever winning, never losing weapon of warfare. You can't praise and lose. It's a supernatural force that guarantees all around exploits. Now hear this. In life, anything you do without understanding will not produce in the kingdom of God. Is that clear? Whatever you do, there should be understanding. That should be what? How many want to do exploits? Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I'm going to give you in this first service some biblical examples of those who commanded great exploits through praise. Some of them. So if you understand why they praise God and they commanded exploits and do the same, you do get the same results. Some biblical what? Examples of those who commanded great exploits through what? Praise. Let me say this to all of us. One of the greatest tools that produces exploits, that commands exploits, 
is when you when you praise God based on His word, based on what? Let me let me let me let me explain this to you because if you get everything, don't get this, you miss it. You don't praise God just for praise's sake. You praise Him based on His word. When you praise God based on His word, nothing can stop it because His word is infallible. It cannot fail because God cannot lie. The immutability of his counsel stands strong. Anytime God speaks, that word must come to pass. So if I stand on the integrity of this word of God and I praise God, it must produce. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. So it's not enough to do what? To praise. It's important I'm praising based on the word. You know why? In Psalm 56 verse 10. In God will I praise his word. In the Lord will I praise what? His word. So your praise should be based what? On the word. So I hear. So it's not enough in the next few minutes to get up and dance. You must be dancing based on the word. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Now one example is Abraham. Is who? Abraham. Shout Hallelujah. In Romans chapter 4, 17 to 21. Romans 4, 17 to 21. As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations. Before him whom he believed, even God, who quickened the dead, and called those things which be not as though they were. As it is what? This is the word of God. Who against hope believed in hope, that he might become the father of many nations according to that which was what? Who spoke it? God. So shall I see be. This is God's word. And be not weak, what? He had faith. Remember what we read in Psalm 106. Abraham had what? In the spoken word. Then there was no Bible. He considered not his own body now dead. He remember Abraham was already 100 years at that time. In the natural, he was a weak man. That was not weak, he was dead. In the modern language, he was impotent. He was what? Impotent. When he was about 100 years old, neither the dead of Sarah's womb. Sarah's case was what? Closed. But God spoke. Is that true, sir? Now look at verse 20. That's the key verse. When God speaks anything to you, yes, you have faith, but faith must end in praise. Are you getting me, sir? A staggered not at what? What was the promise of God? The word of God. Through unbelief. That means he did not shake on the inside. But was strong worth. What did he do? What is glory to God? Praise. Abraham said, God, this is what you said. I am praising you now for this world to become a reality in my life. Every word you believe and praise God for today will manifest in your life. That amen, I don't think is with faith. And being fully persuaded, that means being fully convinced, that what God had promised was also, it was able also to what? He said, I'm praising you because I know that your integrity is at stake. You can't lie. If I praise you based on this word, it must come to pass. Did it come to pass? Every word you praise God for today will come to pass in your life. Yeah. It was hopeless, naturally impossible, but Abraham stood on God's word. Number two example is Joshua. Is who? In Joshua chapter 6, 1 to 5 and verse 20. How many of you know the story of Jericho? The wall of Jericho. Now Joshua was straightly shut up. Sorry. Now Jericho was straightly shut up because the children of Israel, none went out and none what? Came in. And the Lord said unto Joshua, Do you hear that? This is the word of God. See, that word see means understand. It's not talk about physical eye seeing. You know, when someone talks to you, you get to a point and say, I see. What do you say? He says, See, that see is not to see, it means to understand. He says, see, I have given into thy hand, what? This is the word of God. When God spoke this word, Jericho was still standing, you know, 
I'm going to understand the Bible. He said, I've given you Jericho and the king thereof and the mighty men of what? When he said, I've given, does not mean that the world came down. The world was still standing. But God said, this is my word. This is what? My word. And you shall come past the city, all ye men of war, and go round about the city. How many city once? Thus shall thou do what? Six days. And the seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of rams, horns, and the seventh day ye shall compile the city seven times, and the priest shall blow with the trumpets. Now it shall come to pass that when they make a long blast with the rams on, and when ye hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city shall what? Fall down flat. And the people shall ascend up every man straight before him. This is the promise of God. This is the word of God. Is that true? Now verse 20 together. One to go. So the people shouted when the priest blew with the trumpets. And it came to pass when the people heard the sound of the trumpet. And people shouted with a great shout that the wall fell down flat. So that the people went up into the city. Every man straight before him. And they took the city. Shout hallelujah. Joshua believed God's word. And Jericho was delivered supernaturally. Is that true? That gigantic wall collapsed, went down. That was an exploit. Is that true? Has God told you something? Today, when you praise, it must come to pass. That amen should be with strength. So it's not enough to say God said so. It's important you praise God for what God has said. I mean, understand the Bible now. Glory to God. The third example is Jehoshaphat. Is who? Jehoshaphat. In Second Chronicle, chapter twenty, I'll read one, two. You can write it so I don't get missing. One, two, four, seventeen, twenty-two to twenty-four, twenty-nine to thirty. You've written down. Now we can go through scriptures. And it came to pass after this also that the children of Moab and the children of Ammon and with them beside the Ammonites came against Jehoshaphat to the world. There was a gang up against Jehoshaphat and Judah. There came some that told Jehoshaphat saying, they are committed a great what? Multitude against thee from beyond the sea and all the funny names. Crowd of people against you. Verse 4. And Judah gathered themselves together to ask help of the Lord. How many want to seek God's help? Even out of the cities of Judah, they came to seek the Lord. Verse 17. Look at God's word here. Shall we together? One, to go the path. And ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourself. O Judah and stop here. He said, this is the word. Have no fear. Just give me what? Praise. Hello. Now, look at verse 7, 17. Bring it back. Let me show you something. You shall not need what? This was what God said. This is the promise of God. Is that true? Set yourself. That set yourself is prepared to praise. Is that true, sir? Start and see the salvation of what? The Lord. He said, this is God speaking, you know, that God spoke does not mean it will happen if you don't praise. I mean, understand the Bible. Glory to God. God will give you recommendation. It is your application of the word of God that will make you do exploits. So here. And in verse 22 to 24, and when they began to sink, do you hear that? And to praise. The Lord set what? Ambushments against children of Ammon, Moab, and Mansion, which will come against Judah. And they were what? All our enemies will be smitten to the head. Yeah. For the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mansion utterly to destroy, to slay, and to destroy them. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Mansion, everyone helped to do what? Destroy that. Did they, God said they will not need to what? So what God said was a praise. The enemy began to fight. They say, you will and I will not need to fight. Amen. Our enemies will fight themselves. Amen. That amen is for you. Amen. And when Judah came towards the water in the wilderness, they looked 
unto the multitude, and behold, there were dead bodies falling to the earth, and none escaped. So may none of our enemies will escape. Personalize it. Say it one more time. As I praise God. Right now. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Jehoshaphat never doubted the prophecy that God was going to take over the battle. Is that true? He believed the instruction and then gave it a practical step. In verse 29, as you obey God's instruction today, our enemies will be destroyed. Yeah. The victory was a landmark victory and can be classified as an exploit. Is that true? Look at what I said. And the fear of God was on all the kingdoms of those countries when they had heard the Lord fought against the enemies of who? Israel. And the realm of Joshua was quiet for his God gave him rest and about. Somebody will enter into his or season of rest. Because our enemies will leave us alone. So here. Another example, you'll be shocked, is Mary, the mother of Jesus. You know why many of us have not gotten the things God said to us? We have done everything, yet we have not praised. We have fasted, we have prayed, we have, some of us, according to your language, not to my language, you have bombarded every bombardment. Yet, Praise is the only missing thing. What is the missing thing? Praise. Luke chapter 1. 31, 34, 35, 46 to 49. Luke 1, 31, 34, 35, 46 to 49. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son, and shall call his name what? This is the prophecy told to Mary. Is that true? You remember, <laughs> it's simple now. Just imagine if you are Mary, it would have been difficult for you because no woman has ever had such a miracle in her life before. And after her, to no one had. Is that true? Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not what? Amen. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the heart shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which thou shalt be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Shout hallelujah. Amen. Now if you look at scripture, at this point Mary should stop. Is that not true? So God, you have said so, make it happen. But Mary understood the Bible. And Mary said, my soul does what? She has started praising God. I mean, I've seen it. What is this? This praise. My spirit had rejoiced in God, my Savior. For he had regarded the low estate of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth, all Jesus shall call me what? For he that is mighty had done to me great things, and holy is his name. At this point, what was she doing? It was this place that brought the manifesto of the bat. God has told you too many things, but too much murmuring and grumbling. Instead of praising God for the manifesto of those things to do exploits, you make woo 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 woo. Mary, do a virgin, trusted in the word she had. And she conceived without a man and began to praise God. And God fulfilled it. So his word will be fulfilled in someone's life. Yeah. In Luke chapter 2, 5 to 7. And to be taxed with Mary, his spouse wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished. And she shall be what? She should be delivered. She should be what? And she brought forth what? Her first son. Wrapped him in swindling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. She gave birth after she did what? Praise. Your miracle will be born today. 
This exploit is one of his kind and has not happened again in this history of mankind. Mary's miracle has not happened and will never happen again. But what brought about the fulfillment of the miracle? Praise. Mary would have said, well, God has spoken. Abraham would have said, God has spoken. Joshua would have said, God has spoken. Joshua would have said, God has spoken. But each and every one of them did what? Praise. Number five, David B. Omiye. And salvation ministries. You'll be shocked. God said to us to start the cathedral. He told me, he said, start the building. That was an instruction. That was what? Social. But I was divinely instructed to lead the church for seven hours non-stop praise at the cathedral to commit God. To commit who? It's a start. But at the time when the architect and the quantity surveyor, a known, well-known architect, when they came, as at that time, listen, you know, they said the carcass as at that time, the carcass, not roof, was 36 billion naira. They said, we, we, the entire church put everything, including my own offering, everybody offering, plus the bank savings of every member. <laughs> but one we had as reserve, <laughs> I don't think it was up to 5 billion. What is 5 billion? Total income in the bank was about two, one point seven two billion maximum. The estimate for carcass was thirty six billion. But God said, "Build." Do you understand it now? And then we went to the cathedral site to praise for how many hours? Seven hours. After the praise, that cathedral standing today is a testament of great exploits. Is that through? Is that through, sir? Are you hearing me? That is how God will do something very strange in your life from today. Amen. It's a great aspect. No, we have never had any issue of like money. Money has never been a concern. I, till today, I don't know how God is. I can't tell you how God is provided till now. I can't understand it. It's a mystery. It's a what? It's a mystery. Because when they bring bill, if you don't have faith, your faith will shake. This finishing stage, oh, everything is B, 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 no M, B, 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 B. I'm not talking about one billion, no, oh, one year. Four point, seven point, ten point, this point. Okay, how much did you put? How much is your tight? Even the sacrifice, how much was the sacrifice? God gave instruction, but what is making it happen? It, it, we didn't stop that. You know, when it says, we'll go again, we'll go and praise. Have you noticed that? We'll do what? We praise. Whoosh. Nothing can be fulfilled without praise. Every prophecy, if you want to see the fulfillment of it, what do you do? And then you do exploits. Shout hallelujah. Shout a big hallelujah. So how do we engage God through praise for greater exploits? A, lay hold on God's word. Lay hold on what? Consigning that situation. Is that true? I've given you too many examples in the Bible. Am I talking to you? All of them got a word from God. You to get a word. Get what? A word. Let there be one word you are laying hold upon. Is that clear, sir? B, make sure you do it with understanding. Lay hold on the word is Psalm 56 verse 10. Do it with Understanding. Psalm 47 verse 7. It's not enough to just say, ah, we are praising, we are dancing. Make sure you're doing it with what? Understanding, knowing full well that anything God has said concerning you must come to pass. So here. See, have faith. See, have what? Don't, don't praise and doubt. Don't say, uh, this thing. Many did not say so. Many said, be it unto me according to your word. I'm, my soul don't magnify the Lord. I know this thing must come to pass. So here. That's Hebrews 11 verse 6. 
Without faith, it's impossible to please God. He that cometh to God must what? Believe. Believe that whatever God says, the word of God will definitely seek him. If God has said it, he will make it happen because God is not a man that he should lie. Numbers 23 verse 19. His word shall not return unto him void. Isaiah 55 verse 11. It needs your faith. It needs your what? To perform. D, engage your heart in the praise. Engage your heart in the... Don't praise now. We say praise God. Then you are thinking rubbish. You are thinking what? Your heart should be on God. Don't come to church and not be in touch. If you are praising, make sure your heart is involved. Don't be praising and then you are thinking of rubbish. Thinking of what? Rubbish. Put your focus on the word of God. Your heart should be involved in the things of God as you're praising. Shout hallelujah. Psalm 111 verse 1. A lost praise that springs from the heart. Not praise that's just coming from your head. You're having praise. You're looking at somebody else. What somebody wore. Is that praise? Praise the Lord. I'll praise the Lord with my whole what? The whole heart. In the assembly of the upright and the congregation. Then he praise God in a dance. Praise God what? In a dance. Psalm 149 verse 3. Praise God in a what? In a dance. So praise the Lord. Praise him in in a dance, I want for nine verse three. Praise him in a in a dance. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. So let them praise his name in what? In a dance. Just like the way David praised God in what? A dance and became a marvel to his world. In Second Samuel 6, 14, 22, 22. I'm sure as you praise God radically, do praise him radically. Don't be ashamed. Don't the kind of praise you be praising God and your body about. Don't be ashamed. Go down, go up. Praise God. Something must happen. F, have great expectation as you praise. Have what? As you praise. Because your expectation determines your experience. Miracles don't go to where they are needed. They go to where they are expected. The expectation of righteousness shall not be cut off. Mary, after the praise, expect to have a son. Joseph, after the praise, expect, expected victory. Abraham, what did happen? He was, his expectation was Isaac. Is that true? You to what is your own expectation? What's your what? So for surely there's an end. There'll be an end to that problem. Yeah. And whatever God has said must come to pass. Do you want to do exploits? How many want to do exploits? Okay, let me ask you a question. What is your expectation? <laughs> so you should pause and say, what do I really expect now? It's not enough to just dance. What is your expectation? What has God said concerning that situation? If it's your health, then by stripes, I am what? That's the promise of God. So I dance with that word in front of me and my health will be restored. Is that clear? Is that true? The body woman shall be a mother of many children. Say to the righteous shall be well with him. That means after this place, I will not be jobless. There will be miracle employment. Is that true, sir? Glory to God. Is that true? In the second service, I will tell us 12 things. What praise for experts can do for you? Twelve very loaded things. In fact, second service is another dimension. Another word? Twelve things. Twelve of them. Do you know praise can make even somebody who accused you falsely to be, to, be, to, be, to be dealt with? Are you getting what I'm saying? I'll show you. How you triumph. How someone accused you falsely will be dealt with. It can deliver to you inheritance. That's the second service. It can terminate barrenness. Is that true? In fact, second service... Most of the things that you, most of you who don't know Bible, will, so by, those of you who came that we don't know Bible, get second service message so you can know. <laughs> second service are a bit faster than this one. Is that true? Glory to God. Rise to your feet. Shout hallelujah. Shout a big hallelujah. What are you going to do now? Praise for what? Two people cannot have the same praise. Somebody here may be thinking of employment, and that person may be thinking of marriage, and that person may be thinking of victory, and that person may be thinking of health. You should know what you are praising God for. So you don't look at your neighbor. Dancing without the word is playing football without goalposts. So it's not just the dancing. Each and one of them had a word they praised God for. Is that true? Did Abraham did not praise God just for praising sake? 
He praised God for that which God spoke to him to be fulfilled. Mary did not just praise God without a word. She praised God for that scripture to be fulfilled. So what are you praising God for? If you don't have any word, he said, Lord shall perfect all that what? Uh, maybe just take that one. But you must have something you're praising God for. Is it, does that make sense? Focus on it for the next, next um, eight minutes. We are going to give God quality praise. Eight, nine minutes. Serious one. Don't dance. Your heart must be involved. And after this praise, your own Isaac will be born. Amen. Shout a better amen. amen. All right, let's go. All churches, play your own instruments for the next nine minutes. Lord, you are good.
you are going to declare. What is it that you have praised God for? He said, Lord, by this praise, make it a reality in my life. Everyone that prays, after that, they saw the manifestation. They saw the exploits. Not one after praise did not see. Each and every one of them saw God did that thing he said. Lord, that which you have spoken in your word, now with this praise, make it a reality in my life and all that I have praised God for. Open your mouth and begin to declare in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and speak over that situation. Declare your expectation. Let your expectation become a reality. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' most wonderful name. Whatever you have praised God for, you will see it manifest in your life. Not one that God has spoken will ever fail. As you have believed it and have said amen, it is done. In Jesus' mighty name. Now hear this, in Isaiah 38 verse 19, it said the living and only the living shall praise the Lord. The living, the living he shall praise thee as I do this day. Only those who are born again, their praise can be accepted. Any praise of a sinner is nonsense. He said the living, only the living shall praise thee. Who are those who are living? Those who have made Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Wherever you are in any part of the world, yes, you sang. Yes, you danced. But you must be born again. Offer these prayers after me if you are not born again. Say, Lord Jesus, I've come to you. I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart. That you died and rose to save me. With my mouth I confess you. Thank you Father for saving me. In Jesus mighty name. If you offer that prayers. Don't sit with others while others take their seats. Keep standing. Please attend to everyone standing in all our churches. If today is your very first Sunday to worship with Salvation Ministries, kindly stand. We want to welcome you in all our churches. Wherever you are in any part of the world, in any of our churches, and you're part of this service today, I want to speak to those sit and I want to pray for you. All that you left at home to be here for to honor God, you will go back to meet them in testimonies. With us. The Lord will give you the desires of your heart. Keep coming. This week is so special because this is our week of anniversary. Be a part of all that God is said to do in your life this week and beyond. And because you're a part of the most celebrated people on earth, you will never see shame. Amen. Welcome to this family of Jesus. Your life will never change. Your life will never remain the same. It will change from glory to glory. Amen. Those around you tell them we welcome you to this family. We love you. God bless you. Please. Right, fill that form they gave to you and give it back to the officers that gave it to you. Give thanks to God for his word. Praise the Lord. 
time. It's suffering time. The word of God said, do not appear before me empty. Because when you come with empty hand and you praise hundred times, it will be equal to nothing. According to the blessings of God, give. If you know that God has blessed you, you know that God, you have praised God from the depth of your heart, package your qualitative offering. Online worshipers follow the same so that God will visit you and make you to enjoy abundance in Jesus' mighty name. Abundance is from God. It's not from begging. So lift your offering and appreciate God. Thank him from the depth of your heart because you know that God will cause you to enjoy abundance in the name of Jesus Christ. Your name is highly lifted up above every other name we say. Praise the Lord. Please take this very important closing information. This week is our week of anniversary. It's also the week of spiritual empowerment. It's a week where if you love this church, you start fasting. From Tuesday, we are fasting. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, even Friday, you fast. If you love the church, because we are sowing the seed, I am saying now, to make everything a huge success. But Tuesday to Thursday is compulsory because if you're a member of this church, you'll be fast for the book of spirit empowerment. The team is wisdom for greater exploits. Wisdom for greater. You have been doing exploits, but now greater what? Exploits. It will be 5 p.m. each day. Tuesday, Tuesday will be 6 p.m. Church in the house. Tuesday, we're not coming to physical church in the temple. We're going to church in the house, what we call home fellowship now. The cell is no more there. Home what? The cell will remove home fellowship, church in the house. So invite all people around you, neighbors around you, to be a part of the church in the house at 6 p.m. on Tuesday. Is that through? Then Wednesday and Thursday will be in the temple at 5 p.m. each day. 
Then on Friday, take note, this is not on the handbill. On Friday at 6 p.m., there will be special medical service, online special, not in church, online special medical service. I'm doing that as a sacrifice, as a, with communion to be served for healing. For what? For healing. So tell everybody to hook up all over the world. We'll be transmitted. We're not coming to church on Friday. I will minister from the studio to the entire world. Is that through? So you tell people that one is not on any handbill. One woman called the old village. So tell everybody you know, please hook up on Saturday, sorry, on Friday at 6 p.m. It will be a loaded service, medical service, healing. Mostly it will be focused on healing on Friday. Then the big one. The church anniversary is on Saturday, and the service will be at 4 p.m. We'll be at, it is free dressing because it's an anniversary. And then Sunday will also be free dressing because it's a special Thanksgiving service. <laughs> Sunday we are going to say to God, thank you. The reason I'm taking the health for Friday is so that Everybody who is sick in our midst must be healed before the anniversary. Is that true? And go all out to win souls. Because of the anniversary, please, 12 o'clock prayers should be sacrificial. Everybody should come for 12 noon prayers throughout the week, Monday through to Friday. Are you getting me now? We'll be praying 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, seriously for the anniversary to be a huge success. If you love God, you make a sacrifice. Everything about God is sacrificial. Is that true? Yes. And then we'll thank God on Sunday for the 27 years. We tell, say to God, thank you. It will be free dressing. Also, we are coming to celebrate the faithfulness of God. Not our expertise, not our strength, but God's faithfulness in our midst. Shall we rise to close? How many of you know the events? Tuesday, church in the house. Wednesday, Thursday, church in the temple. Friday, online special. Friday is not on any hand bill. So it is you that will spread the news. It will be special administration online. I'm doing that as a sacrifice. As a what? Since we are fasting within the week for those who are sick to be healed. And then Saturday we are meeting in the anniversary at 4 p.m. Then Sunday, special Thanksgiving service. Lift your hands to heaven. You have given God quality praise. Go and do exploits. Amen. This week shall be to you a week of celebration. Amen. In the name of Jesus. is a week where you will never suffer any defeat. It's a week where everything about your life and destiny will be marked with medical signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus, you are blessed this week. It will be good news, good news, good news. Testimony, testimony, testimony. Favor, favor, favor. Everything will speak only medical signs and wonders. In Jesus' mighty name. The grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet love of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. God bless you. I invite souls for the next service.
Hallelujah. Someone said for an encounter, give the Lord a shout of praise. We know you are blessed with testimonies. For those at the global headquarters, go to the success entrance. Pastors and officials are there. Document your testimonies. You are online. Please follow instructions on your screen. The book of Jude 1 verse 25. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. You appreciate God for his power that will enable you to do greater exploit as you praise him today. Lift your voice and appreciate him. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, to you be all the glory, all the praise. We thank you, Lord, for your grace coming through your word. Even as we praise you today, that will enable us to do greater exploit. For the strange testimonies we encounter, Lord, we say thank you. Be thou exalted in Jesus' mighty name. I'm sure the Lord is worthy. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, my God, when I know someone does, can see the
sound of victory. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, let the sound. Let the sound. He has made a way. When there was no way. Hallelujah. Hey. It's the sound, it's the sound. Sing hallelujah. 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 Oh, let the sound. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Oh.
Magnify the faithfulness of God. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' most wonderful name. With a big hand clap to Jesus. May please be seated in God's presence. Papa said in his book, The Power of Praise. He said, Praise gives you a supernatural lift that gets you to your place of destiny. It's testimony time. Put your hands together for Jesus as we invite Emmanuel, Elijah, Peter, Onari, Rena, Emmanuela, and Mary John for their testimonies. While they come, please pay careful attention to the following information. Everyone, welcome to this awesome service. The Word of God is a custodian of divine secrets. Salvation Word of Life Bible Institute presents her international basic certificate course for the month of April 2024. Basic certificate course will be both live and online for countries with GMT plus and a minus one time zones to participate. Nigeria inclusive. Pastors hosting Bible school should please announce at their branches. School begins tomorrow Monday 8th and ends Friday 19th of April 2024 at 7.30am. Please note, school fee scholarship is available for students who cannot afford it. For registration, visit wobi.smhos.org or call any of the numbers as displayed. Visit the Knowledge Center or e-store at smhos.com immediately after the fourth service to obtain today's message and all the messages in hard copy and flash drive or subscribe to our monthly collections on MP3 and DVD. Among the materials are a message, Excelling with our Limits, March 2024, Week of Spiritual Empowerment, Glory 2024, MP3 and DVD. Books, The Wonders of Wisdom, Wisdom for Creativity, Wisdom for Family Peace, Wisdom Quotes Volume 1, Wisdom Quotes Volume 2, Wisdom to See Ahead, Winning with ease and the winning mentality. Be committed to raising a godly generation by acquiring the right knowledge for godliness and excellence that will make you proud as a parent or guardian. Visit the Wisdom Bank for the definite tools or call the number as displayed. To commit to kingdom advancement and expansion, please refer to the detailed information on your screen. Also for profit offering, send your seed to the account as displayed. Those are desiring to build worship centers in any of the categories displayed on the screen. Please call the Global Missions Office on any of the numbers as displayed. As part of our Children's Day Celebration 2024, the Children's Ministry announces Leading Lights as a competition for children between the ages of 5 to 11. Parents and guidance are to visit smhos.org slash leading lights to register their children or pick the forms at their various branches. Registration ends on Sunday, 14th April, 2024. For further inquiries, call any of the numbers as displayed. Okma International Academy Infant Junior and College announces admission into pre-kindergarten primary 1 to 5 and year 7 GSS 1 for 2024-2025 academic session. Applicants are to fill and submit an online application form at okma.org.ng. Note, applicants for the college must be 10 years by September 2024. For entrance, examination, dates, venues and all the details, please visit okma.org.ng or call any of the numbers as displayed. There will be service group prayers on Friday, 12th of April, 2024, for decoration units, special intelligent units, and safety units at the Kingdom Arena for those at the Global Headquarters at 5 p.m. All concerned should fast before coming. Good news! Salvation Ministries, Home Fellowship News, stickers, banners, etc. are available at the Knowledge Center. Get for yourself and for your houses too. Water baptism hosts immediately after this service, while live foundation class for new converts and believers hosts tomorrow Monday by 5 p.m. at the Global Headquarters. The class is designed to give you stability in your Christian adventure. Please come with your writing materials. We do meeting hosts tomorrow Monday, 8th of April, 2024 at 4pm at the Global Headquarters. To receive daily prayers, prophecies and wisdom quotes for living, like, share and follow David Ibiumi on Facebook, at David Ibiumi on Instagram, at David underscore Ibiumi, X at David Ibiumi. Enjoy yourself in God's presence. God bless you. Your name and testimony. My name is Emmanuel Elijah Elisha. My testimony is on God's faithfulness, divine healing, divine health, and also God adding one more year to my life. 
um, I sold into Papa's life, and since then, God has been, I've been experiencing financial favor. I have not remember the last time I visited the hospital because I've been living on divine health. And on Thursday, God added more one year to my life, making me 38 years. I want to give that. As you honor the prophet, you'll enjoy favor, your name and testimony. Praise the Lord. My name is Rena Emanuela. My testimony is on restoration and God's faithfulness in my life. Um, last three days ago, I lost my phone in a vehicle. I boarded and I tried reaching because the phone was on silent. I tried reaching several, but nobody was speaking. So I had to pray about it and ask God when exactly to um, call again. And I heard 622. So exactly 622, I called and somebody picked the call and told me the exact place to come and pick up my phone. And lastly, today is my birthday. I'm 23 years old. I've come to give God all the praise. Your name? and testimony. Praise the Lord. My name is Mary John James. I've come to glorify the name of the Lord. Ever since I started sowing into Papa's life seriously, God has been favoring me seriously. And today is my birthday. I'm 24. Hallelujah. As you sow, you will enjoy favor. Your name and testimony. Praise the Lord. And Comrade Dickin Peter Nare. I joined this commission eight years ago. And since then, I started reading Papa's book, and my children, no one has sick since eight years. And myself, I gained good health. My business changed. I, I explode more than the way I am in other churches. I have come to give God glory. And today, God has added one year to me. I am 60 years old. God is faithful as a doer. Shall we please stand to our feet and give him all the glory?
we raise our voice and magnify the Lord. Lord will magnify you, celebrate your faithfulness in Jesus' mighty name. You may please be seated for a moment. This section we're going to God in prayers. In Matthew chapter 16, verse 18, B, I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. John 6, verse 63. It is the spirit that quickens who pray against Satan and his schemes to resist the flow of multitudes into salvation ministry churches today. Who we'll ask the Holy Spirit to, to quicken them to be part of today's services. Stand to your feet, raise your voice, pray in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, God was speaking, resist the devil and he shall flee from thee. Who we'll resist Satan and his agents from any portion they have taken and intend to take to resist the control inflow of by the multitudes into our services today. Who we'll burn the devil with clay from any attempt to take in the blood of Jesus Christ against you. He will lift up and enter into the nature of afar. He will his them. Holy Spirit, living God to pray. You compare the evil of multitude for it is the spirit of quickness. Holy Spirit, living God to pray. You quicken everyone who invited to be a part of ourselves today in Jesus mighty name. Isaiah 51 verse 11 Therefore the redeemed of the Lord shall return and come with singing unto Zion and everlasting joy shall be upon their head. We will decree that the expectations and desire of genuine attendees in today's services shall be delivered to them without any hindrances. Raise your voice, pray in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God's was been surely there is an end and the expectation of the righteous shall not be delayed. Any attempt the devil has taken an intent to them to hinder the expectations of all coming to return from our service today will bind the devil clear from with clear all resistances, all hindrances to our expectations the blood of Jesus against them will pray the desires of all attendees of our services to be granted for the Lord will open his hands to satisfy the desires of all that will come and stand from ourselves today. Lord will pray all our heart desires will be granted speedily in Jesus mighty name. He's a faithful God. Lift your voice and appreciate him. Father, we thank you. We appreciate you. We give you the glory in Jesus mighty name. You may please be seated in God's presence. Let's welcome the officials as they read our online testimonies from our branches across the globe. Testimony from Taimi, Shapaka, Otiwarongo, Namibia. I was diagnosed with chronic low back pain that radiates downwards to my waist for two years. The pain made it difficult for me to sit, bend, stand for long, or do house shows. I wrote it down in the tins. I don't want to see this year during the Cross River slash bonfire service. On Easter Sunday, while God's servants was ministering, I received all the prophetic declarations and faith. Immediately, my mouth saw I had was healed. And the next morning, when I woke up, I realized I was completely healed of every pain. Glory to Jesus. Salvation Ministries Church along the Yo Road, Ekotakpaden, Akwaivon State, Nigeria, from Kelvin Chima. Prior to this time, I had been struggling financially, which made me depend on others for help. But after listening to one of God's servant's teachings on giving, where he said, you can't give God trash and expect treasures, I decided to change my mentality by changing my offering. Since then, I have been enjoying financial breakthroughs. Indeed, it pays to obey God. Hallelujah. Testimony from Patricia Akotang Wilson, Port Harcourt, River State, Nigeria. God saw me through major surgery of a muscular tumor in August 2023. One month after I left, I went for checkup, and his repeat scan showed that a foreign object, that is an operating scissors, was left in my body. Another surgery was immediately done to remove the foreign object, and I was asked to undergo chemotherapy because the mass was suspected to be a, malig a malignancy. That is, the mass that was removed was suspected to be a cancer, then she undergoes chemotherapy to probably help her treat the cancer. I believe God's servant's declaration in one of the communion services that every cancer case will be healed. I claimed it and continued to administer the communion every day. I kept declaring and reminding God of my kingdom services. Thereafter, I went for repeat investigations and checkup, and it came out negative of every malignancy. Thank you, Jesus. Testimony from A.K. Abigail Paul, Nigeria. I want to thank God for granting most of my requests on my 2024 expectation form. One was divine provision for my NYC service year and divine dominance. I went to camp and God gave me the key of the campground like I asked of him. He granted me favor in the sight of my fellow club members and the entire NYC community. 
I was given a special recognition and a commendation letter by the state coordinator. Indeed, the God of salvation ministers hears the words of his servant. I give God all the glory. If you're next to testify, stand to your feet and give God the glory. Shall we lift our hands to heaven and magnify the King of all kings and glorify his name forever? Let us give him praise and glory. Exalt him because no one is like him forever is on the throne. Blessed, if you are thankful to God, then open your mouth and tell him thank you. Thank you, mighty God, for all that is done. Blessed be your name forever. In Jesus' mighty name we have given thanks. Never trivialize things that God has done in our midst. There are places where you don't see such. Here we see, here we see every day. We are not the doers. The one who did it all is God. So we must learn to say to him, thank you. The more you thank him, the more he does it. And to him we give all the glory. In Joshua chapter 5 and verse 9, he said, this day have I rolled away Lesson to Joshua, this day have I rolled away the reproach of Egypt from of you. You will declare today every reproach must be rolled away from my life. Go ahead and say that in the name of Jesus. What it says to one, it says to all. Every shame and reproach must be rolled away from of my life. This day. Every reproach must be rolled away from off my life. Are you praying that prayer from the depth of your heart? This day, every reproach must be rolled away from off my life. If you are declaring it, declare it in faith. Every reproach must be rolled away. Thank you, mighty God. In the precious name of Jesus. Every reproach will be rolled away from your life. Not tomorrow. Today I decree whatever does not represent redemption must be rolled away. Whatever is not of God in your life, I command it rolled away. In the name of Jesus, only glorious things shall be spoken of you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Father, speak to us in this second service. There your word. Spirit of God, breathe your breath upon the word of life. That each one will be blessed. In Jesus' name. Before you have your seats, those of you who went there yesterday, may God bless every one of us. Because you obeyed the divine instruction of soul winning, may your own testimony be spectacular. May God do for everyone that went out yesterday for souls what no man can do for us. Amen. May your reward be extraordinary. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. My wife just told me, she said 20 of our souls came in the first service. <laughs> you don't know what it means to depopulate hell and populate heaven. Every time you go out somebody somewhere, a young man told her that he has never been to church. It was yesterday when we preached, he made up his mind to start church. Three years he has not gone to church. So you don't know, somebody somewhere is off track. And then just your message to the person restores the person back to God. May everyone that went out yesterday, God, whatever you are looking for, it will look for you. In Jesus' mighty name, God bless you specially. In Jesus, give me a big hand, you may be sitting The message this morning is praise for greater exploits. This month has been declared as a month of wisdom for greater exploits. That's the month. And you, you know that this week is a week of celebration. Are you aware of that? Yes. Glory to God. You have reason to celebrate. Yes. Grace, praise for greater exploits, part two. Praise for greater exploits, part two. The word exploit is simply daring, notable, and memorable deed. Exploit is heroic, 
extraordinary landmark act or accomplishment. We all know that God Almighty is a God of exploits and he showed it in creation at Genesis chapter 1, Genesis chapter 1. The entire Bible is a book of exploits. If I stand on the integrity of God's word, I commit God to perform. With God, all things are possible, which means with God, exploits are sure. And if I do believe the word of God, I'm bound to do exploits. I say, those who do know their God, they shall be strong and do exploits. Daniel chapter 11, verse 32. All I need to do is to partner with God in faith, and then I demonstrate my faith with praise, and when I praise God, this must happen. Shout hallelujah. He said, then believe they his works, they sang his praise. Psalm 106, verse 12. Then what is praise? Praise is exalting and magnifying God in words, songs, clapping, dancing for his greatness. God wants you and I to praise him because he is a great God. He's a God in habits, the praises of his people. Psalm 22, verse 3. It's so great that all you can do to magnify his name is to give him quality praise. Because there's nothing you want to give to God that God is not, has not given to you in the first place. What about praise that is never is a never losing force? It's ever winning, ever victorious force. In the first service, I gave examples of those, some examples of those who commanded great exploits through praise. And we gave five examples. But in this second service, for time's sake, we are going to look at how to engage God to praise for greater exploits. How to engage God through praise for greater exploits. The word engage is used because it's not enough to have revelation of praise. If you are not engaged in praise, the revelation will not produce. Is that true? Just imagine you're talking about Paul and Silas. The praise, the, um, the prison doors were open. You keep talking and you don't sing, you don't dance. Your prison doors will be closed. Oh, God, multiply loaves. And you don't thank God, you don't praise. Nothing will multiply. So we're engaging God practically to be able to get the results. Is that true? That's what we use the word engage. You know, if your gear is there, your gear, G-E-A-R, and you don't engage it, when the car move, you have the gear. You say, this is the gear, this car, and you don't engage it. Will you move? So we are going, the word engage is that we are going to be practically involved to make it happen. Is that clear? How many want to engage? Glory to God. So how to engage God? I'm going to share 12 of them. Now listen carefully before I start. This 12, I'm trying to be a bit fast because of time. The 12 of them, anyone you want to engage, you tick it. So when you want to praise, you look at it. Because the 12 of them, <laughs> some of you may need all the 12. So I don't know how you would do. <laughs> Are you getting what I'm saying now? Glory to God. We are going to look at I can engage 12 of them. Is that true? Hmm? Shout hallelujah. Now, hear this. How do I praise God so that God can do exploits for me? Is that true? What praise for exploits can do? I mean, you want to, if you want to engage God, make sure, one, you praise with his word. You praise with what? With his word. Praise with his word. Psalm 56, verse 10. Praise with understanding. Psalm 47, verse 7. Praise in faith. Hebrews 11, verse 6. These are not the kitties. You just write them. Praise from your heart, Psalm 111, verse 1. Praise with a dance, Psalm 149, verse 3. He says it's too fast. So that you two will be fast. And praise with expectation. Praise with what? All this is I've said in the first service. Now, what is your target in today's praise? What praise for S plus can do for you? What praise for S plus can do? For you, what is it can do for you? I'm going to give you a 12 things praise for experts can do for you. What praise for experts can do for you? I'm going to use Roman figure. So, one, so 
Some of you who are modern children, do you see the Roman figure? Some don't know Roman figure, they only lay one, two, three, and ABC. So, what praise for exploits can do for you? One, you enjoy trying off in life. Take note of the 12. So, anyone that concerns you, if you want to try off, you mark it. When we start for praise, you go. You try off what? You enjoy trying off in life as you praise. Is that true? And Psalm 106, verse 27. Let's read together. Each verse you will read so you will remember the thing. How many want to try off? Shall we read Psalm 126? Psalm 106, verse 47. Sorry, 47, not 27. 47. Shall we read together? Psalm 127. Save us, O Lord our God, and gather us from among the hidden to give thanks unto thy holy name and to triumph. How many want to triumph? So when you praise, what happens? You try off. Two. What praise for S-plus can do for you? Deliverance from frame up. False accusations and condemnation. Deliverance from what? Frame up. False accusations and what? Condemnation. And Psalm 109, 30 to 31. We are going to read the, the Passion Translation. The Passion Translation. Are you there? Shall we read? But I will give... Now listen, you know why you should read? So you will remember the thing. If you don't read, you will not just... Want to go? But I will give my thanks to you over and over. And everyone will hear my lavish word. For you stand right next to the broken ones as their saving hero to rescue them from all their... So if you have been accused, as you praise this day, God will rescue you in the name of Jesus. I've seen this happen where people accuse me falsely on the internet. And it was praise I used to overcome them. A young man was accused who lost me a love. And I called him and I said, now in 24 hours, I command who accused you to be humiliated. And he said, sir, when it happened, he said, my pastor told me your testimony. And it's about your testimony you used to pray for me. So I prayed for him. And exactly 24 hours is showing now everywhere. Now listen, if they've never accused you, you've not started. And when they accuse you, it's not funny. It's not what? But even some people will believe whether it's true or not. And that's the work of the devil. So today you praise anybody who has accused me falsely. God, deal with them. Are you hearing me now? My own, I believe in three dimensional dealings. Spiritual, physical, and legal. I'll deal with you spiritually. I'll pray against you. I'll praise you to dead. <laughs> and I'll deal with you legally. A young man wrote, and I wrote a, we wrote a letter to him that any time he writes about me, is 10 billion. So he, he has stopped. Flog him. Where will you get 10 billion from? I did the 10 billion. I took a lawyer. They wrote to him 10, that whether good or bad, he should not write. Even if I, he likes, he should not write. So if you write, 10 billion. 10 billion. You cough it. <laughs> when, I, <laughs> when I told a great man of God, he said, David, you said, you like trouble small too. <laughs> <laughs> he said, 10 billion. Where, where will he get the 10 billion from? I said, Daddy, Daddy, if he talks about you, I will charge him 100 billion. <laughs> the young man, he left me. So you are going to praise God. You are going to what? Against false accusers. Number three, I, I, I. 
So you, you, some of you, you need triumph. So you know the one you want, you know the one you want, not so. Your inheritance is delivered to you through praise. Your inheritance is delivered to you through what? Praise. God will supernaturally hand over properties, land, wealth, businesses, territories, positions, offices, and other good things as you praise. Psalm 111 verse 1 and verse 6. Praise ye the Lord. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart. In the assembly of the upright and in their congregation. Verse 6. He has showed his people the power of his work. That he may give them the heritage of the hidden. That means whatever the enemies have held down your inheritance in Christ. Must be given to you as you praise in the name of Jesus. He says, say to the righteous, it shall be what? Well with him, for he shall eat the fruit of his doings. Isaiah 3 verse 10. So in case you are looking for miracle employment, praise God and put that scripture. Isaiah 3 verse 10. And say, today, sinners can't be employed before me. I must be employed first. Make for my children first. So as you praise God today, before any sinner will be employed, you will be employed. Yeah. That amen is not somebody who wants to get it. Huh? Yeah. Number four. Change of levels. Change of what? Levels. Praise is a supernatural leverage for change of levels. No matter how down you are in life, praise is a potent force that can guarantee your supernatural lifting. It just takes you up. Psalm 113, 1, 7 to 8. Psalm 113, 1, 7 to 8. Praise ye the Lord. All ye servants of the Lord, praise the name of the Lord. Verse 7. He raised up the poor out of the dust by praise and lifted the needy out of the dunghill that he may sit, set him with princes, even the princes of his people. Do you hear that? So when you praise God, God just takes you from down, down. See the way he lifted Joseph. Somebody will be lifted today. Yeah. Although the fig tree shall not blossom, yet I will rejoice. And by that rejoicing, Go make my feet like a high speed. I will ride upon my high places. Habakkuk 3, 17 to 19. So when I praise God, no matter how down my life has been, what will happen? God will lift me. Is that true? You want to move from a laborer to a manager? Give God praise. How will it be? Have you not seen graduates who are doing media jobs? Now give God praise. He will move you to a manager. So here. Where was Joseph? Prison. Where did he become 24 hours? Prime minister. What was it? Praise. Level must change. Yeah. Number four. Ah, uh, is my is it number five? No, number number five. Yes. It terminates barrenness in your life and business. What praise can do for greater exploits? It terminates barrenness in your life and business. Praise commits God to manifest awesome power. When praise goes up, God shows up. And when God shows up, barrenness must go off and go down in your life and business. Every form of barrenness in your life will come to an end today. Yeah. Barrenness is not only in body. There are people who are barren in business. For since the year started, they've not gotten any breakthrough. Barrenness is a boat in Kansas. Some they have not been promoted for years. That's barrenness. That's what? Every form of barrenness will end right now. Yeah. And Psalm 113, one and nine. Praise ye the Lord, O ye servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Look at verse nine. He make a body woman to keep house and to be a joyful mother of what? You put these scriptures before you when you go to praise. I get now. Praise ye the Lord. And then Psalm 92, 1 to 2, verse 14. It says, It's a good thing to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praise of thy name most high. Look at it. To show forth the loving kindness in the morning and the faithfulness every night. Verse 14. Then they shall still bring forth fruit worth. That means no dry season. You'll be fruitful till your time on earth is over. They shall be fat and that means till our time on earth is over, you'll be fruitful. Is that true? Yeah. Glory to God. Shout a better amen. amen. Shout a loud amen. amen. In Isaiah 54, 1 to 3. 
Sing, O barren, that that does not bear. Break forth into singing and cry aloud, that that does not travail with child. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, said what? The Lord. Enlarge the place of thy tent, and let them stretch forth the curtains of thy habitation. Spare not, lengthen thy sticks, and so that letting thy just lengthen and light the place of thy tent and let them stretch for the for the curtains of the habitation. Spare not, lengthen thy course and strengthen thy what sticks. Thou shalt break forth on the right hand, save fruitfulness, and on the left, and thy sea shall inherit the Gentiles and make those cities to be inhabited. That means you just from one shop, ten shops, twenty shops, fifty shops, hundred shops. Glory to God. How many will give God quality praise? Say, my season of breaking forth has come. As I give God praise. How many will do express through praise today? Number six, VI. Not Victoria Island, just VI. V what? VI. Obstacles. Barriers and roadblocks to your destiny will be removed. As you praise God for greater exploits, just know that obstacles, barriers, and roadblocks to your destiny will be what? Removed. Please, you know the one you want, not so? What you do, any one you want, just stick. So when it's time to praise, you know what you want to praise God for. So don't just praise God for praising sake. You have a target. Is that clear, sir? Now, in Psalm 114, one to seven. When Israel went out of, the, of Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of strange language, he said Judah was a sanctuary and Israel is dominion. The sea, that's obstacle. The sea what? And fled. Jordan was what? The mountains skip like rams and little hills like lambs. What hail thee, O thou sea that thou fledest? That Jordan that was driven back. Ye mountains skip like rams and little hills like lambs. Look at verse seven. Trembled the earth. And what? So it was the presence of God that moved the mountains away. And the presence of God is provoked through what? Praise. So when you praise God, obstacles just go away. I mean, understand what the Bible said. That thing blocking you from gaining access will be clear in the name of Jesus. Amen. Shout aloud, amen. amen. That thing making you not to get married will be clear this hour. Amen. That barrier, that demonic obstacle will give way right now. The walls of Jericho crumble at the presence of what? God. Because of praise. That barrier blocking you from getting access to inheritance will go down. Yeah. You will make progress in the name of Jesus. Yeah. If you are the one who knows something will happen, let your amen be the loudest. Yeah. Number seven. V-I-I. Your mockers and enemies are punished. And one, what praise can do for you for greater worth? Exploits. When you make God the object of your praise, your enemies and those mocking your destiny are severely punished and covered with shame. Psalm 109, verse 1, verse 29. Hold not thy peace. O oh God of my praise. Tonight. Shall we together want to go? Let my adversaries be clothed with shame. Let them cover themselves with their own confusion as with a man. So when you are praising God, your enemies will be punished. God will put shame on them in the name of Jesus. Whoever is mocking you and I, God will cover them with shame. Yeah. If you read the Bible, you find out that Micah, the daughter of Saul, mocked David when he praised God. <laughs> and this woman was punished by God himself. In 2 Samuel chapter 6, verse 23. How many want to see God in action? Say, I will see God in action. All my mockers, as I praise God, God will not spare them. Number eight. Supernatural increase slash abundance is guaranteed. 
Supernatural increase is what? Granted, including abundance. Glory to God. The secret key that unlocks the abundance of heaven, especially when you are faced with insufficiency and scarcity, is thanksgiving and praise. Jesus engaged this key when he was faced with feeding 5,000 men, excluding women and children, with two, five loaves and two fishes. In John chapter 6, the Bible said, he lifted up the loaves and said, Father, I thank you. 5 to 11. But in verse 11 precisely, he said, Father, I thank you and heaven is open. So I hear. Do you want abundance? How many want abundance? Give God quality praise. I shared a testimony in the first service. When cathedral was, God told us to start the cathedral. The money that was in the account, the total money will not be enough even for foundation. The foundation alone, that money will not be enough. And God said, start. And we went to the site, to, to cathedral, where the cathedral has been built, for seven hours non-stop praise. From that day to date, supply has never been a problem by God. God has always supplied. You don't know what you're missing, making woo -woo -woo. Just give God what? Before the need, God will supply. When you make praise your lifestyle, lack will be far from you. Let the people praise your God, let all the people, then the earth shall yield and increase. And God, even our God shall bless, and all the ends of them shall fear him. Psalms 7, 5 to 7. Do you know that when you praise God, money will just be, listen, praise God for 1,000 in your hand. You'll be surprised how it will become 10,000. That does not mean that, listen, it does not mean that God will now multiply the money. No, that's not the meaning. Listen, it means if you have a project of 10,000, and you have 1,000, as you praise God, before you go to the next project, the money God will supply. Before you go to the next one, God will supply. That's the meaning. Are you going to answer? God don't mean that the way you hold 1,000, God will just turn it. It's not a magician. That's not what it means. It means before you finish the 1,000 in the project, the next money will come without you borrowing. So here. Borrowing is a sign of non-praisers. Non-praisers borrow a lot. They're under pressure, pressure. I've not under any pressure. I hate pressure in my life. All I do is to do what? Praise God. And then the money keeps coming. Most times when you hear that, oh, we are blessed of God, don't think that we just have money to throw away. It's just that we know what to do. So here. I've never borrowed. I'm not under pressure because I know how to praise God part time. Small thing. You see the way that they serve God. Money, you know they come out. That your mouth is what is causing the problem. Instead of you to praise God for increase, you complain, 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 complain. Even your name should change to complain. <laughs> Some people complain, even at their church now, they are complaining. Father, I said this church since this church started two, seven years ago. Okay, even if you are the co founder, <laughs> listen. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. Calm what? Calm down. Eh? God is not unfaithful. Don't do as if God is unfaithful. Some people complain. Everything they complain. Sunshine, they complain. Rainfall, they complain. So the complaint is a habit, though. There are people, so they say this sun is just too much. If rainfall, they say this rain is too much. If the day is so easy, they say, why is this AC now? If heat comes, they say, why is this heat now? He said, this guy, you give him salt, he will complain. If the wife give him, without salt, he said, this madam, salt, no day. Well, okay, like, salt too much. Well, what is the thing I go do now? You can never satisfy a complainer. If they come to church now, all the time, they will not see you. They say, that church, some bob white, some yellow. <laughs> you now wonder what has Bob got to do with preaching? They say, I know uh, the church now, wow, some bob with the white, some the yellow. Which kind of that? <laughs> what, what is your business with what in yellow and what in white? My friend, just thank God, amen. Number nine. It guarantees supernatural favor. It guarantees what? Supernatural favor. As 2.47. As 2.47. Praising God and having what? Favor with all people. And the Lord added to the church daily so that we saved. When you praise God, what happens? You enjoy favor. You enjoy what? 
Favor, number 10. Number 10 is X. You enjoy deliverance from traps of dead. You enjoy deliverance from traps of dead. Psalm 116, 17 and 18. I will offer to thee the sacrifice of thanksgiving. I will call upon the name of the Lord. For thou hast delivered my soul from dead. And my eyes from tears, my feet from falling. Did you hear that? So when you give God a quality praise, God will rescue you from dead. Somebody will rescue you from dead this hour. Yeah. Number 11. A guarantees preservation of blessings received. Guarantees preservation of blessings received. So many people lose their blessings soon after they have received because of ingratitude. God preserves your blessings when you acknowledge him as a source and praise him for it. Malachi 2, 1 to 2. Oh, you priests laid to heart, this commandment is for you. And now, oh, you priests, this commandment is for you. If you're not laid to heart, verse 2. If you're not here and if you're not laid to heart, to give glory to my name, said the Lord of hosts, I even send you a curse upon you, say, God forbid. I'll cause your blessing, I've caused them already because he's not laid to heart. So what you do if you want to preserve your blessing, what do you do? Give God praise. Finally, number 12, God takes over your battles. God takes over your battles. God gives you victory in every battle as you keep honoring and praising him. In 2 Chronicles chapter 20, remember Joshua 15, 22, 24, when he praised God, the battle was won. Battle was what? Won. All the enemies were smitten and none escaped. Today, as you praise, none of our enemies will escape. Yeah. I say none of our enemies will escape. Yeah. Shout a better amen. Yeah. Look at these 12 things. In case your own is not there, put it any other one you like. But somehow, somehow, the two you're looking for will fall within these 12. Is that true? Some of you need three. Some need one. Some need the whole 12. I don't know how you praise. Whether you take one more minute to praise for one one. So if I were you, I'll put my note. He said, Lord, preserve my blessings, one. Take care of my battles, two. You'll be looking at the, you know, deliver me from death, three. You'll be looking at the scripture. So mark the ones you need now. Look at your note now. Mark the ones you need. Some of you need all. Some need only two. Some of you, nobody's accusing you because you don't have anything for anybody to accuse you. <laughs> so don't bother about accusation. Don't bother about <laughs> who would accuse you. Say that I don't get your address, so don't bother. <laughs> Guess that. So you know the one that bothers Don't you know the one that bothers you? You know the one that bothers you? <laughs> so mark it. Make sure you praise him from the depth of your heart. Praise him with understanding. Praise him based on the word you have heard. And praise him in faith. Rise to your feet. Now, you look at the one that concerns you. Are you hearing me? Make sure you look at the scripture and praise him based on that scripture. He said, praise the, I'll praise the Lord. So look at the one that concerns you. Look at them. Look at the twelve. So you don't just pray. Do you want victory? Say, God, give me victory as you gave to Joseph and Judah in 2 Chronicles chapter 20. Do you want God to deal with the accusers? Look at the scripture. Is that true? Look at the one that's... Do you want God to make you fruitful all around? Give miracle appointment? Look at the scripture. So each one knows what you want to praise God for. Are you ready? Two persons cannot praise God for the same thing. So each one knows. If you want to praise God for the 12, just be looking at your note and be praising. And then God give for the next... Eight minutes, we are going to take it serious. So if you are praising for 12, you, maybe you take 30 seconds per one. Some of us may need only one. Is that true? Some need all the 12. Some need even more than the 12. They need even 14. So, but just take the 12 we have, we have given you and praise God. All churches, eight minutes. Let's go eight to nine minutes thereabout. Let's go. Make sure you focus on... Look, dancing without having a mental picture of scriptures may not produce. So look at the what you want and focus on it in your praise. If your memory is, is that I can't restrain, be looking at your note and be dancing. Let's go. All churches. You are a miracle working God. You are a miracle working Father. You are the Alpha and Omega. Jesus is a miracle working God. He's a miracle God. He's a miracle God. Miracle God. Miracle God. You are the Alpha. Alpha and Omega. Yes, He's a miracle. Great and mighty God. Miracle God. Miracle God. You will never.
You
the 12 things and any other one you can even add as chapter 16 where God opened the prison doors for Paul and Silas so in case every door was shut against you it must be open Amen. so look at all the 12 and any other one you wish to add and prophetically give voice to the what you have praised God for say by this place you look at whatever you desire you know what you want give voice to it in the name of Jesus Open your mouth and speak. Lord, I've given you quality praise. There shall be increase on every side for your church salvation ministries, supernatural increase. Numerical otherwise. By this praise, open your mouth and give God praise.
in Jesus. Mighty name. Whatever you have given voice to will become a reality in your life. Yeah. There shall be no delay of the manifestation of whatever you have said. In Jesus' mighty name. He said, only the living can praise God. Who is the living? The one who is born again. If you are not born again, your praise is mere entertainment, noise. It has no effect. You must give your life to Jesus. That's where your praise becomes meaningful to God. Everyone who is not born again offer these prayers after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I've come to you. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that you died and rose to save me. With my mouth, I confess you. Thank you, Father, for saving me. In Jesus' mighty name. If you offer that prayers, please don't follow others to sit. Keep standing while others take their seats. If today is your very first Sunday, please attend to those who are standing. If today is your first Sunday to worship with us, kindly stand. We want to welcome you. You're welcome to Salvation Ministries. Everyone standing, I pray that the Lord will brought you, will keep you, and you prosper in his kingdom in the name of Jesus. Whatever is that concern of yours shall end with a testimony. Those around them, tell them we celebrate you. They will give you a paper, fill that form, and give it back to the officers around you. Please, just know that your life has changed. This most successful family you have come to be a part of, you to be successful. Give thanks to God for his word. Praise the Lord. It's offering time. And the word of God says, Be not deceived, God is not mocked. Whatever man sows, he reap. You want financial blessing, you need material contact. So you need money. You need to give God money. Promote the kingdom of God with money, and God will make you to enjoy abundance, and you will prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember one of the testimonies. He said, he heard Papa said, you can't plant, you can't give God trash and expect treasure. So you want treasure from the kingdom of God? Package, good offering. Don't give God trash. Don't give God what the taxi driver will not take. Tear, tear money, don't package it. And God will visit you in Jesus' name. Online worshippers do the following instructions. Lift your offering and appreciate God. Remember your tithe so that things will not be tight with you. Appreciate God. Thank God for the privilege. It's a privilege. God is not in lack. Appreciate him. Father, accept our offerings in Jesus' mighty name. Your name is highly lifted up above every other name we say. Yeah, no power belongs to you, we declare. That you are the same yesterday, today and forevermore, we declare. That's why you were the mighty God. You're the great I am with the
Hallelujah. Please, you may be seated. Take this closing information. April, this week is a loaded week. It's a week of our anniversary. There's a birthday week of Salvation Ministries. We are celebrating the birthday of Salvation Ministries. And also the week of spiritual empowerment. It fell all together. From Tuesday to Thursday, we have the week of spiritual empowerment. Please take this information, very important. The theme is wisdom for greater exploits. On Tuesday, we'll have church in the house at 6 p.m. Wednesday, Thursday, we'll have church in the temple, 5 and 6 p.m. 5 and 5 p.m., sorry, each day. But Friday, there's a program which is not on the handbill. Friday, we will be online medical service. <laughs> it's specifically for miracles, but we dwell on health. Communion for healthy living. We'll serve communion from online, not in church. Friday, nobody will come to church. We're from online. We'll minister from the studio to the entire world. So every sick you know all over the world, tell them to hook up on Friday. Is that through? To be a part at 6 p.m. So by 7, we are done. 7 past 7. Please make sure you're a part of it. Then the main celebration is on Saturday at 4 p.m. It's free dressing. We are coming to say to God, thank you for his faithfulness in our midst. We are meeting in all our churches at 7, sorry, 4 p.m. on Saturday. Sunday is special Thanksgiving service. <laughs> we are thanking God for his faithfulness. It's also free dressing on Sunday. Because of the week of spiritual empowerment and the anniversary, 12 o'clock prayers, everybody should make a sacrifice by fasting and praying. Is that through? Come 2 o'clock so we can pray for the success of the week, all the events. It's a sacrifice. It's not going to be convenient. It's a what? Sacrifice 2 o'clock to 1 o'clock or even 10 minutes to 1. We pray. During your lunch hour, you come and pray that God, the week of the empowerment should be a huge success. And then the anniversary should be also a huge success. And God will reward everyone that will do that in Jesus' name. Shall we rise to close? How many of you are blessed today? For all the souls you won and the ones you invited, may God reward you. Amen. Lift your hands to heaven. I decree your week to go well. Amen. As the church is celebrating, you too will celebrate. Whatever God has done for us as a church, he will do for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. this shall be to you a week of laughter. Amen. It shall be to you a week of open heavens. Amen. You will prosper this week in the name of Jesus. Amen. Everything about your life this week will go well. Amen. Nothing will stop you from advancing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your documents will be signed this week. God will favor you this week. Amen. You are blessed this week. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You will dance in the open. Amen. There shall be no evil report. Amen. Peace in the name of Jesus. Amen. To everyone sick, you are pronounced healed. Amen. I repeat, to anyone sick, you are pronounced healed. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The grace together, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet love of the Holy Spirit, Rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. God bless you. See you in church in the house on Tuesday.
Somebody expecting a miracle in this service, give the Lord a big, big shout of praise. We know the God of David Biome have given you testimony to share with God's people. Proceed to the success entrance for those at the global headquarters. Officials are waiting to document your testimony. The word of God speaking in Isaiah 29 and verse 14. Therefore, behold, I'll proceed to do a marvelous work among these people. Even a marvelous work and a wonder for the great thing God is said to do in our midst. In this third service, lift up your voice and appreciate him. Father, we give you all the glory, we magnify you for the great and mighty things you are said to do in our midst this third service. We give you all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. I appreciate God. God is worthy, lift up your hands and worship the name of the Lord. It's worthy, hallelujah. Mm We bring to you our sacrifice of praise with the fruit of the leaves, giving thanks unto your name. Lord, we bring to you, 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 a sacrifice of praise with the fruit of our leaves, giving thanks. Unto your name For I worship you With all my heart With all my heart I Jim 
name of Jesus Christ. With a big hand clap to Jesus, you may please be comfortably seated in God's presence. In Papa's book, Walking in the Supernatural, if you have not gotten it, get your copy. Papa said, God finds it pleasurable to teach and direct the meek on what to do. Jam your hands to the glory of God as we invite the following testifiers to share their testimonies. Miracle Cheesy, Akani War, Princess Joy, William, Tony George Will, Ebifa Kingsley, Eze Ephraim Darlington, Ibiam Emmanuel, and Chia Maka Okwara. While they come, listen to the following information. A very warm welcome to this awesome service. The Word of God is a custodian of divine secrets. Salvation Word of Life Bible Institute presents her international basic certificate course for the month of April 2024. Basic certificate course will be both live and online for countries with GMT plus one or minus one time zones to participate. Nigeria inclusive. Pastors hosting Bible school should please announce at their branches. School begins tomorrow Monday, 8th and ends Friday 19th of April 2024 at 7.30 a.m. Please note, school fee scholarship is available for students who cannot afford it. For registration, visit worldby.smhos.org or call any of the numbers as displayed. Visit the Knowledge Center or e-store at smhosstore.com immediately after the fourth service to obtain today's message and all the messages in hard copy and flash drive or subscribe to our monthly collections on MP3 and DVD. Among the materials are message, Excelling with our Limits, March 2024, Week of Spiritual Empowerment, Glory Rain 2024, MP3 and DVD. Books that warn us of wisdom, wisdom for creativity, wisdom for family peace, wisdom quotes volume one, wisdom quotes volume two, wisdom to see ahead, winning with ease and the winning mentality. Be committed to raising a godly generation by acquiring the right knowledge for godliness and excellence that will make you proud as a parent or guardian. Visit the Wisdom Bank for the definite tools or call the number as displayed. To commit to kingdom advancement and expansion, please refer to the detailed information on your screen. Also for profit offering, send your seed to the account as displayed. Those are desiring to build worship centers in any of the categories displayed on the screen. Please call the Global Missions Office on any of the numbers as displayed. As part of our Children's Day Celebration 2024, our Children Ministry announces Leading Lights as a competition for children between the ages of 5 to 11. Parents and guidance are to visit smhos.org slash leading lights to register their children or pick the forms at their various branches. Registration ends on Sunday, 14th April 2024. For further inquiries, call any of the numbers as displayed. Okma International Academy Infant Junior and College announces admission into pre-kindergarten primary 1 to 5 and year 7 GSS 1 for 2024 2025 academic session. Applicants are to fill and submit an online application form at okma.org.ng. Note, applicants for the college must be 10 years by September 2024. For entrance, examination, dates, venues and all the details, please visit okma.org.ng or call any of the numbers as displayed. There will be service group prayers on Friday, 12th of April, 2024, for decoration units, special intelligence units, and safety units at the Kingdom Arena for those at the Global Headquarters at 5 p.m. All concerned should fast before coming. Good news, Salvation Ministries, Home Fellowship News, stickers, banners, etc. are available at the Knowledge Center. Get for yourself and for your houses too. Water baptism hosts immediately after this service, while live foundation class for new converts and believers hosts tomorrow Monday by 5 p.m. at the Global Headquarters. The class is designed to give you stability in your Christian adventure. Please come with your writing materials. We do meeting hosts tomorrow Monday, 8th of April, 2024 at 4 p.m. at the Global Headquarters. To receive daily prayers, prophecies, and wisdom quotes for living, like, share, and follow David Ibiumi on Facebook, at David Ibiumi on Instagram, at David underscore Ibiumi, X at David Ibiumi. Enjoy yourself in God's presence. God bless. Your name and testimony.
My name is Eze Ephraim Darlington. Last year, December, 31st December precisely, I and my wife agreed to sow a particular seed to Papa's life after that we have been enjoying financial favor. Then yesterday, my wife put to bed a bouncy baby girl. I had total glory. Your name and your testimony. Church, praise the Lord. Yes, I'm Tony George Ray by name. I worship, I'm a member of the Salvation Ministry, but at the time, Satan turned to me. I lost my car. So since then, with annoyance, I started to sow seed. I started to give better offering. But mere, mere hearing Papa preaching, I changed, my mentality changed. I started sowing seed. So since then, I and my family, if I will get financial favor, things going well with us. I come to share the glory of God. Thank you, Jesus. Your name and testimony. My name is Emmanuel Ibiam. My testimony is on God's favor. Since I joined Salvation Mission, God has been so faithful to me to my service, and today I'm plus one, I'm 17. I want to give God a big glory. Your name and your testimony. My name is Kingsley Bifa. Last year, August, I was, my car was stolen from me by armed robbers. Three weeks ago, the, I got a call from the police that I should come and collect my car. I came to give God the glory. Your name and your testimony. Church, my name is Chama Kokwara, so I want to thank God for supernatural favor. Um, last a year ago, um, I got a job offer from a company which I asked the Lord for, and He gave me His will. And a year later, I was promoted, I was given a promotion that was beyond um, the number of years that is required for an engineering field. I got that promotion, I was divinely promoted, and also I also want to thank God for blessing me with good friends, godly friends in this same place. So, God be all the glory. Your name and your testimony. Praise the Lord Church. My name is Miracle Chizia Akanemo. My testimony is on faith, God's faithfulness. Since last year, August, I was very ill, so I prayed to God that I want to get better. During the glory reign, I wrote in my expectation form down to remain healthy. And since then, till now, I've never visited the hospital. And on Friday was my birthday. I'm 23 years old. Your name and your testimony. Good morning, Church. My name is Princess Joy William. With so much contention, trying to land my next role in the oil and gas, I tried everything, sent over millions of CV, it didn't work. Then after my Bible school, I read Papa's book, um, Universal Currency. I stepped out in faith for an oil and gas conference, uninvited. At the conference, they were having challenges with my acquired skill and the help of the Holy Spirit. I gave them a solution to the problem. And all the big stakeholders, I was a sinner of all eyes. Right there at the conference, I was offered employment without invitation. <laughs> Without interview, I came to give all the glory to God. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Jesus. The same God is here to give you your own testimonies. Rise to your feet, return the glory back to God.
and magnify the Lord this morning. Lord, we give you glory and honor for accepting our worship today in the mighty name of Jesus. You may please be seated in God's presence as we go before the Lord in prayers. The word of God declares in Isaiah chapter 25 verse 10, For in this mountain shall the hand of the Lord rest. You will pray that the hand of God shall launch salvation ministers into another realm of supernatural dominion, global recognition and acceptance. Stand to your feet, pray in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, for in this mountain shall the hand of the Lord rest, for the hand of the Lord was upon Elijah, and he outran the shadows of Eva. Lord, we pray that your hand shall launch your church salvation ministries into another realm of supernatural dominion, global recognition, and acceptance in the name of Jesus, and shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow unto her. Lord, by your mighty hand, cause your church salvation ministries to enjoy supernatural natural dominion, global recognition and acceptance, this season and beyond, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Psalm 59 verse 13. Consume them in wrath, consume them, that they may not be, and let them know that God ruled in Jacob unto the ends of the earth. Pray that anyone who wants to sit on the blessings of genuine worshipers this week shall be consumed by the vengeance of God. Pray in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, for the Lord at the right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. In the name of Jesus, we come against anyone that wants to sit on the blessings of Jenny worshipers this week. We command them to be destroyed and consumed by the vengeance of the Lord. We decree them completely annihilate them by the blood of Jesus Christ. All the powers back in them, we command to fail for the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof. We command your works against Jenny worshipers this week. We decree all our blessings be released in the name of Jesus. The Lord has heard us raise your voice and appreciate him. Lord, we give you glory and praise for answers to prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. You may please be seated as we welcome officials to share more striking testimonies globally. Salvation Ministries Church, beside Shell Filling Station, Crufram Road, Airport Roundabout, the Kemp School, Kumasi, Ashanti Region, Ghana. From Akin Tinaba, Loris Great. My two year old daughter was having fever from the beginning of March 2024. On the last day of the March week of spiritual empowerment 2024, God's servant ministered and prayed over the anointing oil to the glory of God. As I anointed my daughter with the oil, instantly the fever left. She's completely made whole. Thank you, Jesus. Salvation Ministries Church, Okefia, 12 Iwo Road, Opposite State, Customary Court of Appeal, Oshobo, Osun State, Nigeria. From Ajebade Anu, I want to appreciate God for healing me of generalized body pain during one of the services last Sunday, 31st March 2024. I came to Salvation Ministries for the first time with generalized body pain. And while God's servant was praying for the sick, I claimed it in faith and immediately I received my healing. Every symptom has disappeared. Thank you, Jesus. Testimony from Ejiri Stella Abbey, Nigeria. I had a menorah for about a year and six months. Amenorrhea is the absence of menstruation in a woman who is not breastfeeding, who is not pregnant, and who is mature to receive, mes- um, which who have already, already commenced menstrual flu. And I have been praying for God's intervention. I consistently joined the online morning devotion and the 12 noon prayers. During the personal prayer section in the 12 noon prayers on the 12th of March 2024, I prayed for God's intervention that the menstrual flu will be restored. In the 9th of the 12th of March 2024, I had abdominal ache, but thought it was nothing and went to sleep, only for me to wake up in the next morning feeling a little different. Checked myself and saw that my menstrual flu has been restored. I want to give God all the glory. Salvation Ministries Church, Lakaya, Alogu Branch, opposite College Court Suits, Room Alogu, Portaco, River State, Nigeria, from Belema Unis. A patient of mine was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia on the 2nd of March 2024 and was given at almost 30 days to die. His condition worsened and he was given up to die after one week. I led him to Christ and administered the communion to him. On Thursday, 28th March 2024, I received a call that he has been discharged. He is now healthy. I give God all the praise. You will be next to testify. Stand to your feet. Give God all the glory.
Shall we consciously give thanks to God for all that is done? Let's go ahead and thank him because no one could have done all this except God. Open your mouth and tell God thank you. We give you praise and glory. In Jesus' mighty name we have given thanks. For all that God has done, we say to him, thank you. It's the doer of all. In Isaiah 3 verse 10, it says, Say to the righteous, it shall be well with him. I decree it will be well with you. In this week of celebration, it will be well with you. The Shunammite woman lost her child. And Elisha said, is it well with thee? She said, it is well. Just say it is well, the child came back. Whatever was not going well, because you have said it is well, I decree this week things will go well. Amen. She didn't say my child died. Elisha said, is it well with you? She said, yes, well. That one word, it is well, turned things around. Because you have said it is well, and God has said it is well with you, I decree everything about your life and my life will go well. Amen. Even things that were not going well will now go well. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It says, say to the righteous, as I three verse, it shall be well with you. So I decree from today it will be well with you. Amen. It says, say, and I've said it, now it will be well with you. Say with me, it is well with me. Well with my academics, well with my health, go ahead and prophesy in the name of Jesus. Well with my health, as well with my business, as well with my body, open your mouth and speak over your life. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, Heavenly Father, in this third service, give us the right word for each person. Amen. Let our ears be open to hear from you, Amen. our hearts to receive from thee. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, give me a big hand. You may be seated. This is a very special week. We have two outstanding events this week. The week of spiritual empowerment and the anniversary of this church. Amen. On Saturday this week, this church will be 27. And we have service that day at 4 p.m. Praise the Lord. And the Wigglesbury Empowerment starts Tuesday through to Thursday. Make sure you attend all. Friday we have special online miracle service. The month has been declared a month of wonders, Glory to God. It's a month of wisdom for greater exploits. These boys have started again. <laughs> they wrote on my paper, Wonders of His Manifestation. This month I declare as a month of what? Wisdom for greater exploits. This pastor tie off. He has come again with his, uh, I don't know what he's thinking. Please come back home. Praise the Lord himself and uh, Pastor Fortune. Yesterday we were in the library walking and I saw one of them, stomach big. I said, why is your stomach big? The other one said, the stomach is big because he's married. So I said, so every married man should have big stomach. <laughs> I said, it's a sign of marriage. I said, so every married man should have what? That's his own philosophy. He said, every married man. So if your stomach is flat, that means you're not married. <laughs> That's the philosophy of uh, one of the pastors. He says, stomach is big because he is. I've not had that kind of philosophy before. That means, small for stomach should be like this now. Your stomach will come down in Jesus' name. You know, when it's too big, you won't be able to put your belt. You'll be looking like this and be putting belt. You, to tie your shoes, you need grace. I know those of you who have big tummy, you know that to tie sh the shoes, lace, balance brought forward, will not allow it. <laughs> but whatever way, but don't have stomach if you're a poor man, no, because <laughs> stomach is good for those who have money. 
If you are poor and you have big tummy, I wonder how they will look at you. They will be asking for money that you don't have. <laughs> big tummy is good for big money. Praise for greater exploits, part three. Praise for greater exploits, part three. Praise for greater exploits, part three. Exploit is daring, notable, and memorable deed. It is heroic, extraordinary, and landmark act or accomplishment. Our God is the God of exploits. He demonstrated his capacity as creation. The Bible itself is a documentary of God's exploits. But the exploits happen when you partner with God. In Mark 10, 27, God's word declares with man it's impossible. But not with God, for with God all things are possible. With God. No, he didn't say to God. With God. And he said, if thou can believe all things are possible to him that believe it. Mark 9, 23. We command exploits when we know how to partner with God. Those who do know their God, they shall be strong and do exploits. Daniel eleven thirty two. Exploit is not possible without the supernatural involvement of God. He said, for without me, you can do nothing. John 15 verse 5. It's not by mind, nor by power, but my spirit, say the Lord. Zechariah 4 verse 6. So God has to be involved for you to do exploits. He said in Psalm 127 verse 1. God declares, except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain, they build it. And except the Lord keep the city, the watchmen walk at board in vain. Shout hallelujah. One of the principal ways to leverage on God for us to do exploits is praise. Is what? Praise. What is praise? Praise is exalting and magnifying God in words, songs, clapping, dancing for his greatness. God loves you and I to praise him. In Psalm 147 verse 1, praise you the Lord for it is good to sing praise unto thy God, to our God. For it is pleasant and praise is comely. In Psalm 96 1 and 4, what I, where I read is Psalm 147 verse 1. Psalm 96, 1 and 4, he said, Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. It is to be feared above all gods. The atmosphere of praise is the atmosphere of power because God lives and manifests in praise. Psalm 22, verse 3. Praise an ever winning and never losing weapon in the battles of life. So praise is one tool for commanding greater exploits. It is a potent supernatural force that guarantees all and exploits. In the world of exploits, praise has a great role to play. Let me say this to you and I. God revealed his secret for exploits at the beginning of creation. In Genesis chapter 1, but say, and God created. So, exploits began with God through creativity. Through what? And God created. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. So, God's exploits is battered by his creativity. And creativity is born out of ideas. Born out of what? At the root of creativity is ideas. So ideas give back to creativity and creativity bars exploits. 
All creative ideas were domiciled in God until the creation of man. When God created man, he now empowered man. Enable him to do exploits and have dominion on the earth. And when ideas begin to come, it leads to exploits in business, in career, in ministry, in academics, name it. But let me say this, ideas come by inspiration. By what? You can't get ideas without inspiration. And when inspiration brings ideas, you become creative. And when you're creative, you begin to do exploits. In Job chapter 32 and verse 8, the Amplified Classic says, it said, but there is a vital force, a spirit of intelligence in man, and the breath of the Almighty gives man what? So ideas are simply inspired thoughts. Ideas are simply what? Inspired thoughts. Now listen carefully, people of God. When you have an idea, you become creative. You become what? But this is where I'm going. Through worship and praise, we move God to inspire us with ideas to do exploits. Every time you worship, every time you praise, ideas begin to come. Ideas begin to what? And when ideas begin to come, you begin to become creative. And when you're creative, you do exploits. Are you getting where I'm going? The reason we worship and praise, I'm going to do this, is because every time you worship and praise, not in for entertainment, by inspiration of the Holy Spirit, ideas will begin to come. And when ideas come, you become what? Creative. And when creativity comes, you do exploits. I may not understand what I'm going. Shout hallelujah. Shout a big hallelujah. Shout aloud hallelujah. hallelujah. Everything begins with an idea. Every good thing. Ideas can be life changing. One good idea can change your life in a significant way. One good idea. One good what? Let me say this to us. You don't know what you're doing when you play nonsense music. If you want to live a life of creativity, learn to worship and praise by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. You operate at another level. Are you getting me now? If you notice, all great men, even scientists, they play quiet music. You hardly see a creative person who does not play music. Do you know? Check creative people. They play very quiet music. You don't know what you're losing playing chan chan kro kro chan chan kro kro chan chan kro kro chan chan kro kro. If you want inspiration, surround your environment with what? Music. Good worship and praise. So I hear. And every moment, ideas will be coming. Ideas will be coming. I pray today, as you live a lifestyle of worship and praise, you will never lack ideas. Because ideas will give birth to creativity. Creativity will make you do exploits. Some good things to know about ideas. Some good what? Some things to know about ideas. Number one. All good ideas come from God. God is the source of all good ideas. James chapter 1 and verse 17. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. And coming down from the Father of lies with whom is no variableness in the shadow of turning. Every good idea comes from who? God. I pray today you have an idea that will take you to another level. Shout a better amen. amen. Shout a loud amen. amen. Just one idea can turn your life around. Number two thing to know about ideas. Ideas contain the keys to solving problems. Problem solving creates wealth. Creates what? 
and an idea. Now, people of God, listen. We're in a world full of problems. Only those who can provide solutions will have advantage in generating wealth. So solving problems is money in disguise. Is what? It's money in disguise. Ideas form major source of wealth. Wealth is a function of man's capacity to think. Wealth is what? Now let me say this to you. And ideas are products of thinking. You need ideas to solve problems, and ideas come through inspiration, and inspiration flow through praise. This is where I'm coming. You need ideas to solve what? Problems. Ideas come through where? Inspiration, and inspiration comes through praise. So when you praise, expect ideas to drop. Expect what? And when ideas begin to drop, you begin to solve problems and do exploits. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout a big hallelujah. hallelujah. Napoleon Hill said, ideas are the beginning points of all fortunes. Unquote. Ideas are the beginning points of all what? Fortunes. A wise man once said, money never starts idea. It is an idea that starts money. I come again. Between money and an idea, which one do you pray for first? It's a lie. Many of you, it's money you pray for. Money you, even your prayer next money. You shouldn't pray for money first, you pray for an idea first. Because an idea will create wealth. Money can't create an idea, but an idea can create wealth. Say so here. But what do you really pray for first? Say the truth. Money. Money. Don't deceive yourself. The thing you should pray for is what? Solomon never asked for money. What did he ask for? Wisdom to create. Is that true? Simple. This ministry did not start with money. It started with idea. So I hear. Wealth comes from ideas that add value. It produces more, better, cheaper, faster, and easier products and services than anything else. One good idea is all you need to start creating a fortune. One good what? All you need is one good idea. And when that idea comes, you just swim in another level. Say here. But those ideas come by what? Inspiration. And inspiration comes by praise. Is that true? Do you get how it goes? You don't just, you can generate idea. You don't wait for idea, you generate idea. How do you generate it? Just create an atmosphere of praise. Worship and praise. And then you'll be inspired. You'll be what? Inspired. And when you're inspired, ideas will begin to drop. And when ideas come, you become creative. And when you become creative, you do exploits. So here. Glory to God. I'll tell you something that happened of recent. God will never do certain things. That's what we teach. Many of us just come to church, just come to church. You know, we belong to a society where people don't utilize the Holy Spirit. Everything is just... No. God told me to get involved in the cathedral because the thing was becoming so frustrating. And he said, get involved. So I said, Lord, I've never read quantity surveying. I'm not a quantity surveyor. So how do I know when they want to cheat? Because I'm a pastor, so how do I know if someone wants to cheat me? Because everything they just give you, they give you technical terms. And in my usual way, I began to worship. As I worship, an idea began to drop. It gave me an idea that I can't give you. <laughs> do you want me to give you? Yes, are you are you in construction industry? But he gave me an idea, and when he gave me the idea, he said, this is how you will know the price of everything genuinely. He said, no matter how they try to bamboozle you, this is how you will know. 
And he gave me the idea. The idea now created a platform where I had to talk to a professional. He was shocked. I said, this you gave me, you parted it. He said, sir, no. I said, this is how I proved that you parted it. I gave him the answer. He said, okay, remove the pardon. I'm talking about a professional who has been a lecturer for over 20 years. So I, how do I beat him? This is a lecturer. He's not a, he's not a small child. He's a professional with his PhD and at the top of his field. I said, sir, this thing you gave to me, you parted it. He said, no. No, I've been a certified engineer for over 20-something years. I said, now I'll prove to you, you parted it. And I showed him one, two, three. He was shocked. And I have no simple knowledge in that by the Holy Spirit. I just said, now, so reduce it from three point something billion to two point something. Say, so I'll go ahead. And inspiration comes by you generating ideas to the Holy Spirit. And that makes you become creative and you do exploits. But we don't know. We think all we do is just to sing and dance. It's more than that. So here. You want to do exploits? Then consult the Holy Spirit. But the Holy Spirit will not come without music. Hello. So we are not just dancing. You are dancing to generate what? Ideas and become, make you to be creative and creative to do exploits. How many flow with me? Shout hallelujah. Shout a big hallelujah. Shout a loud hallelujah. hallelujah. Number three, which I'll close with for this service. Ideas create products and services. Ideas create what? Products and services. The clothes you're wearing, these watches on your hands, the phones in your bags or pockets, the car you are driving, the television you watch, the gas cooker, the bed you sleep on, name them, are all people's ideas transformed into products. Is that true? The Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, email, Skype, TikTok, Google, name them that you enjoy now and pay for using them. Are other people's ideas translated into services? I ask you, what is your own idea? Your own is just to use people's idea. I told a child close to me, I said, I'm not excited that you're using your iPad. I want you to create your own idea. Perspective of the child change. I said, don't tell me this iPad has all these functions. I said, no. Somebody put those functions so you're not smart using them. You become smart when you create your own. And the child came up with an idea about that challenge. I just told the child, I said, I want to know you have something when you create your own. And the child was able to create something at the age of 19. You don't, you don't belong to this church. Just carry up and say, I'm on Facebook. No. Create your own that others will also face. We are not worshipping and praising just to dance. We are worshipping and praising to generate ideas that will make us to be creative and do greater exploits. I challenge every youth hearing my voice. If in the next six months... You don't create something, you're an abuse to redemption. Are you? Because the Holy Spirit, he said, there's a force. Look at that scripture again. So we are not just dancing. You know why I had to shift this teaching to third service? You are more in third service. What I taught in first and second is not this. I intentionally shifted this part of the teaching to third service. You can't be in your 30s and be a dummy. You can't be in your 20s and not have something. Are you getting what I'm saying now? No, your brain should be inspired. He said, there is a vital force, a spirit of intelligence, different from intellectualism. Intelligence is not the same. Intelligence is when the Holy Ghost inspires you to become a creator. You become a person with ingenuity. You become an originator of thought. Is that clear, sir? It's different from being intellectual. Intellectualism is when you carry a book and read. That's not intelligence. Carry a book to read, to pass an exam, it's not intelligence. That is when you are able to create something that is not existing. Or you improve on what is existing in a new level. Are you getting me, sir? 
He said, there is a vital force, a spirit of intelligence in man. And the breath of the Almighty gives them understanding. So the Holy Ghost tears your brain when you begin to worship. He touches your mental faculty and begins to make it smart. No school. This is the Holy Ghost inspired. Ideas begin to drop and the ideas make it to become creative. Are you getting what I'm saying? Nobody taught me in school. I said Nigeria does not have a problem. All that Nigeria is lacking is lack of ideas. True? Nigeria does not have a problem. Nigeria is one of the wealthiest nations on earth. Are you getting me? Are you hearing me? I'll give it so tomorrow someone will not say that he did it. Put it on any social media. Listen. Put it anywhere. I'm going to tell you. Nigeria economy is right. Because if I don't share it tomorrow, someone can say it's his own idea. Let me better share it. They can. Now listen. Nigeria economy can turn like this. And nobody will be unemployed in Nigeria. In the next five years. How? Listen carefully. Simple. Nigeria has a major product called oil. Through? What do we have as a product? Oil. Is that through? Okay. Oil is our major product. Am I talking? Now, oil has 6,000, over 6,000 byproducts from oil. But Nigeria does not produce up to five. Where the refineries are not working. Now, they, they sell the crude oil. They sell what? Maximum 100 and something dollar per barrel. A whole barrel of crude oil for one something dollars? That's madness. The whole barrel. See your barrel. Now, that one barrel can produce $20,000. That one barrel. Because if every crude oil is refined to produce a product, it's more expensive than the crude oil. So the Western world said, well, these guys are not smart. Buy their oil. America has more oil than Nigeria, but they don't sell their oil. Don't think they are mad. Singapore has no oil. They buy your own crude oil, produce things, and send it back to you, so they bought nothing. Singapore does not have oil. What they do, they buy your oil, use it to produce this in Singapore and sell it back to Nigeria, and you buy them. So at the end of the day, Singapore did not buy any oil from you. They actually made money from you. This is it. Let me explain to you very simple. Nigeria should stop selling our crude oil. Do you hear me? Now, we should think of opening factories, industries that will produce the crude oil to finish products of other kinds. That's everywhere, open industries, plastic industry, capsule industry, different industry, weak industry, anything that crude oil can produce, open factories of all kinds on all over Nigeria, everywhere. And then the crude oil will now become the raw material for such. Are you getting me now? Are you getting me simple? And then when those things, those things are not down, crude oil price is down, but those things are still up. You have shared your fleet, the price has it come down? It's from crude oil. Your plastic chair, the price did it come down? It's from crude oil. Your wig, did it come down? It's from crude oil. The capsule you think, did it come down? It's from crude oil. Everything is from crude oil. So Nigeria should think of opening factories that will bring those countries that have those products and tell them if you establish them here, you have free working environment. Because our working environment is also very hostile. Tell the countries to come and open those factories in Nigeria and produce them in Nigeria. Our youth will get a job. What are you talking about? There will be no unemployment. But now we sell our crude oil. They buy it from you. They have the industries. They produce those things and send those things back to you. You buy them at a higher price. So they actually bought nothing. They actually gained from you. Why don't you open those industries in Nigeria? We don't have a job problem. We only have a stupid problem. You don't need school. You need inspiration. Joseph did not go to secular school. Are you getting me? Are you hearing me? Hey. It's a problem of Africa, not only Nigeria. Have we know the gold in African countries they sell it as raw gold for 40 something dollars. And they take it to Dubai and sell it for thousands of dollars. So, why can't the countries produce the gold to a finished product? 
So what the Holy Ghost does, so when you are singing, it's not shaking your way, just shaking your way, shaking your way, shaking your way, shaking your way, shaking your way. The praise is to inspire your mental faculty with ideas. With what? That will make you creative and do exploits. That's why you must not be playing all those, those music them that they are naked, wearing dada hair. You'll be getting inspiration from the devil. Surround your environment with good music. With what? Mm, I will, in the last hour, I'll tell you how ideas flow when we engage God in a heart to rooted worship and praise. Now listen, I'll talk that more in the fourth service. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither have they entered to the heart of men. What God has prepared for them that what? For the spirit started what? Yea, the deep things of God. True? The Holy Ghost will bring out things that are deep. Is that through? First Corinthians 2, 9 and 10. I'll teach that in the last service. When he searches, but how does he search? He searches when you worship to touch your mental faculty, to create, make you become a man of, and woman of ideas. Then the ideas begin to create things that the world can enjoy. Is that through, sir? Is that clear? Mm? 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 So, it's not just we clapping out. Jesus is coming soon. Amen. 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 As your saint is coming soon, your brain should also be getting up. Are you hearing me, brothers and sisters? You know our problem? Tell me what is our problem. The time we used to think, we used to talk about man and woman. That's why this mind is not productive. What you dwell here mostly affects. When I sit and I consult the Holy Spirit, I begin to get inspiration. The poor have never been spared because all they think morning to night is man and woman. No. To affect your mind. It will affect your mind. You can't be creative if all you think is man and woman. The Holy Ghost can't spare you. Sit down like this and be playing music and be creative and be thinking. There are things school can't teach you. School can't teach you that. There, there's no faculty of wisdom in any school. Is there any school with faculty of wisdom? Any department of success? Is there any school with department of wisdom? Department of success? You can't find one. You are inspired by them. By the Holy Spirit. And a child of God should be inspired. All you in this church, I challenge you. I give you six months between and December. If you tell me you're looking for a job, you tell me why the Holy Ghost is in you. You're wearing wig. Can't you produce a company that produces wig? Wearing wig without you produce the company make you look like a wig. <laughs> make sure you get a company that produces because the raw material is where? In Nigeria, it's from crude oil. But we import wig. We say we have Brazilian wig, Mexican wig, Bolo wig, Elmano wigs. <laughs> but we have, where do we have the raw material? In Nigeria, they take the crude oil from you, go and produce the wig and sell you for thousands. They don't look at you and say, foolish people. You know the problem? Jacob and Esau. I'm closing. Jacob and who? <laughs> African nations are Esau's. But we'll never be so again. Yeah. How can the man who went to the bush to kill animals came to the man who was in the house to ask for food? Jacob was where? Then the man who went to slaughter came to the house. Who should ask for food from who? How can Africans who have raw materials be asking the Western world to borrow us money? Yes, sir. You know what a hunter does? A hunter will kill anything he wants to eat. He must kill it. So Africans have hunting spirit. And a hunter will pursue one animal per time to kill it. If you look at Nigeria, crude oil. We will pursue it until we kill the crude oil. If you go to Ghana too, they have their own. Ghana is going through serious economic challenges. Are you aware of that? Every African nation, that's how we do. If you have gold, 
everybody who pursued the gold or the gold die. Then those who are Jacob nations, they look at us and say, forget these people. Give us, we prepare a recipe, you come and beg us. It is your own materials they use to develop themselves and you go back and borrow from them. They laugh at you, but our generation will change. Yeah. Let inspiration come. So we are not going to, you are going to worship now. As a lifestyle, this one is church owner, but when you go home, worship. When you stay like this, stay like this, just play. If in case you don't know how to worship, play good, good worship. Not all these ones that are there. Sing, go, go, go. Inspire the worship. And then as you're studying, it will inspire you. As you're beating. I have a principle. I can never be in the bedroom without a worship. Never. I, t- I do it as a lifestyle. I can never be in the bedroom without a worship or a message playing. You know why? When you're in the bedroom, nothing distracts you. That time is not the time for you to be, to be doing nonsense. When you're brushing, play something that as you're staying there, the Holy Ghost will begin to spare you. This is what you should do. This is what you should do. This is how to go. How can I be able to solve that kind of problem without reading quantity survey? I'm not a quantity survey. You think it's by man? No way. Nobody can beat me there anymore. All the crooks have been able to decrook them. How <laughs> can a budget drop from three point something billion to two point something billion. They gave us a bill of two point something billion and today we are doing it for seven hundred something million by the same wisdom. Since I entered the project, everything is doing like this. Bah! Bah! Before, the Nigerian factor was there. Rise to your feet. Shout hallelujah. You are going to praise God for five minutes. It's not a long praise. When you get home, praise. When you get home, do what? He said, Lord, as I'm praising you, I want what? I want ideas. I want what? That will inspire me to become creative, to do expert. That's all we are praising. Are you hearing me now? This praise is, Lord, I am praising you to inspire me with what? Ideas. Ideas will bring about creativity. Creativity will bring about exploits. I mean, understand what I'm talking about? Glory to God. Are you hearing me now? One week, one soul. Is it anything anywhere? Where is it written? It's him. He said, now tell them to be winning one soul as what the church will blow before you go to cathedral. Did, you read, did I read it for any book? One week? I know when you so you if you watch every week, we grow like this. Since this feature started, every week we grow like this. Everywhere. Is that through? Who inspired me? Did I read it from anybody? It's from me, others will learn now. That's what we mean. This is my own area. You two have your own area. How can you be sewing in one shop for five years, one tailor? You are one tailor for five years. Even the machine, you have not changed it. No, no. No customer for five years. No customer. You are still sewing the same thing you sew five years. No, no. You should be inspired with new things. Am I talking to you? In fact, no long grammar in thought service. You will praise God. Praise God for ideas. And when you get home, continue to praise God. That's a lie. Start. All churches, five minutes. Let's go. Lord, you are good. You are glorious. You are excellent.
service. The moment we started praising, I heard God clearly said to me, tell my people, I'll speak to them throughout this season. Amen. So what you do throughout this season, keep a writing matter around you. He will spare you, but God will never waste his stuff. If God spares you and you don't write it down, you will never get it back. Check any time God wakes you up like midnight and gives you like a, a dream or something and you don't write. The following day, you will never remember it again. That's how God does. He doesn't waste his speech. So this period be sensitive. Get material anywhere. If you're sleeping, get a notebook. Get a biro. Once the idea comes, start writing. Start what? If you can't write, record it in your phone, your voice. So you can listen to it, that idea. But God does not waste ideas. You lift your voice, Lord, by this praise. Inspire me with ideas. To become creative. To do exploits. Go ahead and talk to God in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and talk to God. Open your mouth and talk to God by this praise. Inspire me with ideas. To become creative. To do exploits. Go ahead and talk to God. Inspire me. With ideas. To become creative and to do exploits. Go ahead and talk to God. Blessed be your name forever. In Jesus' mighty name, great inventors will come out of this meeting. You will never be stranded after today. God will give you an inspired idea that will make you creative. And you will take your world by storm. In Jesus' mighty name. If you are not born again, you can't be inspired by the Holy Spirit. Even if you danced. All those not born again, pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I've come to you. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that you died and rose to save me. Thank you, Father, for saving me. In Jesus' mighty name. You offer that prayer, keep standing, or just take your seats. If today is your very first Sunday to worship with us, kindly stand, we want to welcome you. You're welcome to Salvation Ministries, the home of success. Every of you standing want to say that you will love you. They will give you a form, fill it in the different churches. Let us give it back to them after filling that form. And if you're online for the first time, let us know you gave your life or you are a first timer online. But do around there, tell them we celebrate you. Give them a warm handshake. Please, those officers, don't just give them and sit down. Take, make sure you take their details. Give thanks to God for his word. Praise the Lord. It's offering time. He said, return unto me, I'll return unto you. When you return your tithes and offering faithfully to God, God will return what your heart desires to, him, to you in Jesus' name. So when you give God what pleases him, God will give you what will please you today in the name of Jesus. So package your offering, your tithes. Online worshipers follow instruction. And God will bless you. Remember to pay your tithe faithfully. Lift your offering and appreciate God. Thank God from the depth of your heart. It is a privilege to sow. God is not in need. Father, accept our offerings in Jesus' mighty name.
Hallelujah. Please, maybe may be seated. Take this closing, very important information. This week is a loaded week. Too many events to this week. One is the anniversary week. Also the week of spiritual empowerment. The theme is wisdom for greater exploits starting from Tuesday. Tuesday will be church in the house. Wednesday, Thursday will be church in the temple. Tuesday at 6 p.m. in the different homes. And then Wednesday, Thursday, 5 p.m. in the church. And outside the handbill on Friday, there will be special online ministration for those who desire to be healed in medical service. We transmit from studio. I want to use it to bless those so that if you want to live in sound health, join, tell the people all over the world to be a path, and communion will be served through the online. We are not meeting on Friday in church, take note. We are meeting online, and then Saturday is the anniversary. <laughs> Saturday we are meeting at 4 p.m. So at by past six latest we are done because of Sunday services. Sunday will be a special Thanksgiving service. Saturday and Sunday will be free dressing. Because of the anniversary, each one should make a sacrifice by joining the 12 noon prayers. I remember from Tuesday we are fasting. Are you aware of that? Our will be empowerment is a fasting program, so make sure you're part of the fasting. And if you can't fast throughout the week, throughout the program will be a huge success. And God will reward everyone as we keep winning souls. Now, God has spoken. Every time God gives instruction, he has something in mind. If God says, I will spare my people, then be very sensitive to hear from God. He will spare you with an idea. All you need to move to the next level is what? An idea. So put a material, but even if you don't put material, almost an average phone records voice. Sell through. So if you inspire, just record your voice on the phone. And then later you can listen and know what God is saying to you. I noticed that most of you, because I say inspire ideas, dancing was not like other. If I say cast out demons, dance, so that all the demons, you, demons have left you since. No demon is worried you now. All you need is your idea. All you need is what? Uh, if, like, if I say praise now, let uh, all the witches die. You would have jumped. Witches have died. All the witches in your village have died. Even the ones in Aquai Bomb, they are not existing again. <laughs> so now you need what? Ideas to create world. How many people witches are worrying? Nobody raise hand. How many people money is written? Raise your hand. See everybody. Okay, so ideas, what you need. So the ones for ideas are more than witches. So please don't worry about witches. Witches have left you since. In fact, they don't even know your address, so don't bother yourself. Rise to your feet. You see, I say money, see people raise hand, but witches, nobody raise hand. So witches are not really the problem. What is your problem? Ideas. You can generate what? Ide you don't wait for ideas. What do you do? You generate ideas through worship and praise. And those ideas make you to be creative. And when you're creative, you do exploits. Right here. That's all we have taught in this third service. Lift those hands to heaven. May this week be a week of exploits to you. God who has spoken to you will give you a striking idea in the name of Jesus. Before this week is over, that thing that will bring you out of that challenge will be delivered to you. Amen. For those who came sick, you are pronounced healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be blessed throughout this week of celebration. Amen. I declare you will keep celebrating this week. Amen. It is well with you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The grace together, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the sweet of the Holy Spirit, Rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. God bless you.
If you are set for an encounter and need for service, make a joyful noise. I know God has blessed you with testimonies for those at the global headquarters. Proceed to the success door. Pastors and officials are waiting to document your testimonies. In Psalm 47 and verse 7, For God is the King of all the earth. Sing your praises with understanding. Appreciate God for the greater exploit you will encounter as you praise God with understanding. Raise your voice. Appreciate him. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for the greater exploit we encounter as we praise with understanding. Be thou exalted. Be thou magnified. In Jesus' mighty name, you have said us appreciate him. Magnify the name of the Lord is worthy of our praise. Hallelujah. Yahweh, Yahweh, you are glorious, so glorious in your way. Yahweh, Yahweh. Worthy to be praised, to be 
of God. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory and praise in Jesus' most wonderful name. With a big hand clap to Jesus, you may please be seated in God's presence. Papa said in his book, The Power of Praise, he said, praise is the major distinguishing factor that separates the high flyers from the glory Christians. It's testimony time. Put your hands together for Jesus as we invite Queen Esther, Tam George, Alice, Alison, Richard, Stephen, Queen Keribe, Ruth Owuna, Ray George, and Patrick Moses for their testimonies. Why they come, please pay careful attention to the following information. A very warm welcome to this awesome service. The Word of God is a custodian of divine secrets. Salvation Word of Life Bible Institute presents her international basic certificate course for the month of April 2024. Basic certificate course will be both live and online for countries with GMT plus one or minus one time zones to participate. Nigeria inclusive. Pastors hosting Bible School should please announce at their branches. School begins tomorrow Monday, 8th and ends Friday 19th of April 2024 at 7.30 a.m. Please note, school fee scholarship is available for students who cannot afford it. For registration, visit wobi.smhos.org or call any of the numbers as displayed. Visit the Knowledge Center or e-store at smhosstore.com immediately after the fourth service to obtain today's message and all the messages in hard copy and flash drive. Or subscribe to our monthly collections on MP3 and DVD. Amongst the materials are our message, Excelling with Our Limits, March 2024, Week of Spiritual Empowerment, Glory Rain 2024, MP3 and DVD. Books that warned us of wisdom, wisdom for creativity, wisdom for family peace, wisdom... A very warm welcome will be service group prayers on Friday, 12th of April, 2024, for decoration units, special intelligent units, and safety units at the Kingdom Arena for those at the Global Headquarters at 5 p.m. All concerned should fast before coming. Good news, Salvation Ministries, Home Fellowship News, stickers, banners, etc. are available at the Knowledge Center. Get for yourself and for your houses too. Water baptism hosts immediately after this service, while live foundation class for new converts and believers hosts tomorrow Monday by 5 p.m. at the Global Headquarters. The class is designed to give you stability in your Christian adventure. Please come with your writing materials. We do meeting hosts tomorrow Monday, 8th of April, 2024 at 4pm at the Global Headquarters. To receive daily prayers, prophecies and wisdom quotes for living, like, share and follow David Ibiumi on Facebook, at David Ibiumi on Instagram, at David underscore Ibiumi, X at David Ibiumi. Enjoy yourself in God's presence. God bless you. Your name and testimony. Praise the Lord. My name is Quinesta or Tony Ngerme about St. George and I'm here to testify to God's glory for divine victory. In the just concluded Faculty of Law River State University elections, I contested for the position of Vice President. Proud to that, I was threatened, scorned, but I sold into the life of God's servant, prayed, went out with soul winning, and praised. And to the glory of God, on the day of the election, my opponent was disqualified, and I emerged victoriously on the polls as the Vice President-elect Faculty of Law. Indeed, God is the greatest stakeholder. I give him all the praise. Your name and testimony. Praise the Lord. My name is Patrick Moesi and my testimony is on um, breakthrough in academics. A couple of years back, I started a chemical engineering degree program at the Dane River State University of Science and Technology. Um, in my second year, they were on strike and I was at home and God gave me another opportunity to undertake the same program at the University of Manchester in the UK. And then, uh, so I withdrew from the program at UST and I left for the UK. Prior to my departure, I had the opportunity to, um, to be prayed for, 
and I left Nigeria for the UK. To summarize it, I want to thank God because I completed the program at the University of Manchester and I received a first class honor in chemical engineering. And, um, and um, I also undertook uh, a master of engineering at the University of Manchester in the UK and I came out with a distinction, God helped me. And um, three to four months after my graduation, I left the UK for Canada and I undertook a Master of Science uh, in Canada, and God helped me with a distinction too. And, um, and that was with a CGP of 3.9 out of a four point grade point. And, um, and after my graduation, God gave me uh, multiple employment opportunities. I think I got four opportunities. Um, within five weeks, I got four offers, so I had the opportunity to choose what to do. And also, God granted me Canadian citizenship in two months without any question. And uh, God brought me back home safely. So I owe God thanks. I'm here to give back the glory to God. Hallelujah. God is faithful. Your name and testimony. Praise the Lord. My name is Queen Kiribe. I just want to thank God for his faithfulness upon my life. On the 1st of April, the Lord added the year to my life. I'm 20. I've come to give God all the glory. Your name and testimony. Praise the Lord, Church. My name is Alice and Alice Chimoya, and my testimony is on God's faithfulness. Okay, around um, after last year, a month after my birthday, I started having this recurrent stomach pain that when it comes, it's as though I would pass out. And I went to the hospital, they administered some treatments. I spent some days at the hospital, and I later went back home. Months later, around September, October, this same pain reoccurred, and this time it tripled. So I had to see a professional and they diagnosed acute appendicitis and I was told that it could only be surgically removed. I was scared because I couldn't withstand it. But as God may have it, I went in and I told God that I wanted everything to happen smooth and sharp. And I came out of the, the, the theater and while on the hospital bed, I told the Holy Spirit that I don't want to be useless because I had tons of activities slated for November and December. And God heard me. My healing happened so fast. Two weeks post-surgery seemed like three months post-surgery. The doctors and everybody were amazed at my recovery. And secondly, on Friday was my birthday. I'm 23. Hallelujah. Your name and testimony. My name is Richard Steven. You mommy. My testimony is on healing. I came here on Bible school for February special, and before that I was having severe cough health challenge, and uh, the cough would have discouraged me from continuing, because it's like I was convincing my students, my fellow students, but the Holy Spirit gave me the zeal to continue, and right here in the church, at the end of the graduation ceremony, I got my healing, till today I have not experienced that kind of cough again. He's here to give God all the glory, your name and testimony. Praise the Lord. My name is Ruth Onari George. Five years ago, I came to Salvation Ministries. All my life, I used to go to church, but I never knew all the things I learned here. God has helped me. I'm growing spiritually. Secondly, I'm here to thank God for my wedding. Eleven years ago, I got married. On Friday, my marriage was 11 years. With all the ups and downs, God has seen us through. Praise God. God is faithful as a door. Shall we please stand to our feet and give him all the glory? Father, we give you all the glory. Thank you for all these testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You may please be seated. It's offering time. Papa said, if you are not getting financial harvest, you are not sowing financial seeds. In Genesis chapter 8, verse 22, the Bible says, while this earth remaineth, seed time and harvest shall not cease. You plant by paying correct tithes, and by giving quality offerings, not trash if you desire treasures. Therefore, package your very best. And quality offerings, tithes, prophet offerings, cathedral and church planting seeds, and all other kingdom investments. Remember to redeem your glory reign sacrifice. You can also follow the bank short codes on the screen. If you have done that, lift up your seed and speak to that seed. Faithful God, we thank you for this privilege to once more sow seeds into your kingdom. Let our harvest come in the name of Jesus Christ. You may cast your seeds. Mm-hmm. 
Your name is highly lifted up above every other name we say. You alone deserve my praise. You are the miracle working God. Our power belongs to you. We say.
voice and worship him. Lord, we worship you. We give you back the glory in Jesus' most wonderful name. Please be comfortably seated. This section will be going to God in prayers. In Psalm 118, verse 23, this is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. We will thank God for showing himself strong and mighty in salvation ministries today, for helping David Bima and his family, and for blessing all genuine attendees of today's services. Stand to your faith, lift your voice, and magnify the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we are here to say thank you. He said, this is the Lord's doing, it is marvelous in our eyes. We thank you, God, for showing yourself strong and mighty in salvation ministries today, for helping David Ibiema and his family, and for blessing all genuine attendees of today's services. Lord, we are grateful, we say thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. Zephaniah 3, verse 15. The Lord has taken away thy judgment, he has cast out thy enemy. The King of Israel, even the Lord, is in the midst of thee, thou shalt not see evil anymore. You will pray against Satan and frustrate his plans to corrupt the April 2024 we could share empowerment or instigate evil in and around salvation ministries this season of celebration and beyond. Lift your voice, pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ it is written, it is violence, shall not be heard in the land, wasting of destruction, within the bottom of the church, salvation ministries for they shall not hurt not destroy, in all my holy mountains, Satan the devil, we are giving a place every attempt of yours to corrupt the oral success of the April 2024, we can share a by his Getting crisis and majesty or rush in the church, salvation ministries, the season of celebration and beyond the blood of Jesus is against you. We command the walls be destroyed by the blood of Jesus. We decree all and peace. In Jesus' mighty name, Zechariah 9 and verse 14. And the Lord shall be seen over them, and his arrow shall go forth as the lightning. And the Lord God shall blow the trumpet, and shall go with the wild winds of the south. By the blood of Jesus Christ, command every evil, programmed against David Ipume, his family and their genuine love force, this celebration season and beyond, be destroyed. They create perfect peace and order victory for them. Lift your voice, pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is written, set the up again the devil by the blood of the Lamb, by the blood of Jesus Christ. We clear every evil program against David Ibiome, his family, the genuine love force, the season of celebration to corrupt the joy, to corrupt the peace, the blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Lord of Jesus, destroy the works of the devil with the decree that's the blood of Jesus. Speak peace. In Jesus' mighty name, Isaiah 54 verse 17. And no bond that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. Pray that every weapon fashioned against the lives, families, business, academics, and career of genuine attendees in salvation ministries be destroyed. Decree peace, progress, and unlimited favor to all. Lift your voice, pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is written, a single weapon from the against us shall prosper. Every weapon for sure against the lives, against the families, against the businesses, academics, and careers of genuine attendees and salvation missions be destroyed by the Lord of Jesus, Lord of Jesus, Lord of Jesus, destroy it all. In Jesus' mighty name. Finally, Proverbs 23, verse 18. For surely there's an end, and the expectation shall not be cut off. Pray that our salvation ministry celebrate this new week. You and your family will also celebrate, and all your expectations will come to pass. Lift your voice, pray for yourself right now. In the name of Jesus, it is written, it said, and the expectation shall not be cut off. We pray that the salvation ministries celebrate this new week. Everyone connected to the church, salvation ministries, we shall also celebrate all our expectations in line with God's word must come to pass in the name of Jesus. Once we appreciate the Lord is faithful 
Father, I will return the glory to you in Jesus' mighty name. Please be comfortably seated as we call on the officials to please read the testimonies across the globe. Testimony from Ferdinand T.A., Wembley, United Kingdom. I thank God especially for keeping and blessing my wife and I in dimensions we cannot explain. God's servant told us during the July 2023 week of spiritual empowerment to write what to desire and expect. One of the things I wrote was a blissful family and supernatural favor on every side. Looking back now, I can see how God answered my request. My family is healthy physically, spiritually, and financially. Bliss is all I see, and I'm grateful. Hallelujah. Salvation Ministries Church, number 7, Africa Road, Ipan Risu, Lere, Lagos State, Nigeria, from Omotayo, Oguntola. I want to thank God for my mother's life. She was ill, admitted in the hospital, and placed on oxygen some days ago. She could not even walk or do anything unaided. I came to church on Thursday, 28th of March, 2024, and I took the communion and administered it to her in the hospital, and now she's totally well and can do what she could not do before. I return all the glory to God. Salvation Ministries Church, Dickin Mrs. Ibaraye Uranta's home cell, Port Harcourt, River State, Nigeria, from Ibaraye Uranta. In the process of watering the crops planted in my garden on Saturday, the February 10th, 2024, sun splashed into my eyes, making me very uncomfortable. Despite washing my eyes with clean water, the pain intensified and continued till Monday, February 12th of 2024. I planned to see the ophthalmologist, that is the eye doctor, that Monday, but was quicking to go to the home fellowship auditorium in our house. While seated, I asked the Holy Spirit to propel the same grace in this commission to answer to me. I reminded God of his servant's declaration on Sunday, the 11th of February, 2024, that anyone who sits on any chair of the commission will be healed of any plague and, and their expectations met. Brethren, in less than five minutes, my eyes became clear, annulling the planned opta appointment with the ophthalmologist. Indeed, there is transcending grace at work in Salvation Ministries. Thank you, supernatural and compassionate ophthalmologist. Salvation Ministries Church, Old Assembly Quarters Viewing Center, Azikoro Town, Yenegua, Bayelsa State, Nigeria. From Linda Victor, for three weeks, my friend was very sick. She was diagnosed with cerebral malaria. Cerebral malaria is a severe form of malaria, usually accompanied by seizures and arousable coma for greater than 30 minutes, which left her comatose in her case she was in coma and was being fed through a nasogastric tube in the hospital that is passing a tube from the nose down to the stomach. On the day two of the Glory Rain 2024, I invited them to connect to the Salvation Service online and asked them to place the Glory Rain tag on her. I called to check on her a few days later, and the God of Salvation Ministries has done it. My friend is perfectly healed. I have come to return all the glory to God. God is all these great testimonies. Rise up and return the glory to him. Shall we together give thanks again to God? Let's consciously tell God thank you. Let's thank him that's not like him forever is on the throne. Thank him for the miracles, for the signs and wonders. Let's appreciate him because no one can be compared to him. Blessed be his name forever. In Jesus' most wonderful name we have given thanks. This is our week of celebration because the church will be 27th on Saturday. And every environment carries its own anointing. Saul found himself in the midst of the prophets and he began to prophesy. I decree this week shall be to you a season of celebration. Because you're on board this flight. Whatever God is doing, he will do it in your life. Yeah. I decree that you are just around this commission. Whatever this commission carries, reflect in your life. Yeah. May celebration never cease in your life and habitation. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Lift your voice and declare, Lord, this shall be to me a season of celebration. Yeah. 
This shall be to me a season of celebration. Go ahead and talk to God. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, you keep celebrating. Jesus, give me a big hand. You may be seated. This month has been because a month of wisdom for greater exploits. Wisdom for what? And today we'll be looking at praise for greater exploits. Praise for greater exploits. In Daniel chapter 11 and verse 32 it said, Those who do know their God, they shall be strong and do exploits. So exploits is connected to how you know God. You can't know God and not be known. Exploit is daring, notable, and memorable deed. Our God show forth that is a God of exploits in Genesis chapter 1. You discover that God proved himself as a creative God. But for you to produce results like God, you must be connected to him because without him you can do nothing. John 15 verse 5. It says, not by might, not by power, but by spirit, saith the Lord. Zechariah 4 6. By strength shall no man prevail. First Samuel chapter 2 verse 9. There is a connectivity. When you are connected to God, exploits is sure. Because with God, all things are possible. Mark 10, 27, 27. And he said, if thou can believe, all things are possible to him that believe it. Mark 9, 23. So if I'm connected to God, I partner with God, then I too can do exploits like God. Shout hallelujah. <laughs> but one of the principal tools for exploits is praise. Is what? Praise. It's praise. Praise is simply exalting God for who he is. You're exalting him. You're magnifying him in songs, in clapping, in words, in dancing for who he is, for his greatness. God loves to be praised. As a praise is one tool for commanding greater exploits. Now, if you look at God Almighty... He revealed himself in Genesis chapter 1 and verse 1. In the beginning, God created. God did what? And it means that the first thing God showed for Esprit was creativity. Was what? In the beginning, God created. So he showed himself as a creative God. And the Esprit began to happen in Genesis chapter 1. There will be no Esprit without creativity. But creativity is born out of ideas. Born out of what? Ideas. So at the root of creativity is idea. Idea gives birth to creativity, then creativity gives birth to exploits. And all that made God to create was domicile in him before he created man. When he created man, he now put what he created to man and said, let us make man in our own worth. The Bible said God is omnipotent. The word omni means omni means multidimensional. Potent means all the potentials were in him. Now those potentials is what he placed into man. Is that clear, sir? A potential is simply anything you can do that you have not done. That's your potential. Potential is not what you have done. Potential is something you can do that you have not done. Say right here. And everything God had, he placed it into man. So a man can produce like him. God is simply saying to you, do you want to do exploits? Then do like me. Be creative. Do what? Be creative. Ideas leads to exploits in business, career, academics, name them. But these ideas are transmitted to us via inspiration. Bear what? Now listen. Ideas are simply inspired thoughts. Inspire what? Now, in Job chapter 32 and verse 8, 
the amplified classics, it said, but there is a vital force. There's what? There is a vital force, a spirit of intelligence, take note, in man. So already it's in you. God is the only wise God. Is that true? But that wisdom he has, he placed it in who? In us. And the breath of the Almighty gives men what? Understanding. So here. So God is saying, everything I have, where is it? Is it man? Where is it? Where do you can find what God has? Inside you. But hear this and hear me well. Why, what is the connectivity between worship and praise? This is it. Worship and praise is what brings inspired what? Ideas. And those ideas make you to become creative. And when creative, you become a man and woman of exploits. So here. Do you understand what I'm going to say here? I'll show you an example. So everything begins with an idea. If you're a man of idea, you will never be stranded. Never be stranded. One good idea can change your life. I pray today your life will turn in the name of Jesus. We always take praise, worship and praise only to dance. To dance, to dance is far beyond that. Worship and praise is far beyond just dancing. Is that clear, sir? Dancing is part of it, but it's more of inspiration. More of what? More of inspiration. Now listen. One day, a man of God called Elisha was called upon to handle a matter. And hear what Elisha said in 2 Kings 3, verse 15. He said, bring me a misrael. Bring me what? Misrael simply means bring me somebody that will play music. And it came to pass, when the misrael played, did you hear that? And the hand, that hand, don't think it's physical hand like this. No, God, no. that means Elisha was inspired. Was what? The, the Bible does not say that God had put physical hand like this on him. That's not the meaning, no. Yeah, because the Bible is very deep. When you hear Jesus sit at the right hand, don't you like Jesus sit at the one right hand chair? Right hand means the place of authority. Place of what? When you say right hand, don't you like God put one chair here, then right hand, Jesus, no, no, no. He said, that's my right hand man. That's a man of my confidant. Do you say right hand man? Do you say that he's sitting at your right hand? He said, that, that man is my right hand man. Do you, it doesn't mean that he's sitting at your right hand. It seems that same two of you are what? Connected. Right hand simply means the place of authority. Now, Jesus, the Bible simply says, the hand of God, at that point, Elisha became what? Inspired. He became what? To know what to do. May God's hand come upon you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> so, when he said, God will come upon you, not that one hand will come upon your head like that. That's not the meaning, no. Praise the Lord. Before you say that, I'm expecting hand of God to come on my head. Shout hallelujah. In the first service and second services, I taught first and second services, I taught different things. I talk more on praise. But in this third and fourth, I am teaching in a different way. Is that clear, sir? Some good things to know about ideas. In the third service, I said, all good ideas come from God. Number one, come from who? James 1, 17. That I taught in the third service. Number two, I said, ideas contain... The keys to solving problems. Contain the keys to solving. That's number two. Every problem around you, you just get an idea to do what? Solve it. And number three, I said ideas create products and services. Ideas create what? Products and services. The clothes you're putting on, the wristwatch watch on your hands, the phones in your bags and pockets, the car you're driving are products of what? Ideas. And men that transform to products. Is that true? The bed you sleep upon, the Facebook, the WhatsApp, the Instagram, the email, Skype, TikTok, all of them are what? Google, all of them are what? Ideas. They were translated into services. Is that true? So ideas are important tools for achieving your dreams and set goals. Here this progress begins with an individual idea. With a what? Idea is the fuel for progress and the foundation for the future. Now we look at number four. Ideas open doors. Idea does what? Ideas, some good things to know about ideas. Ideas open doors. All you need to open any door is one good idea. 
Ideas create opportunities that can enrich you and others. For instance, doors were shut against the Jews in Egypt. A young man called Joseph, many of us said Joseph interpreted dream. No. If it was only a dream Joseph interpreted, he would have been a prime minister. It was the idea he had to preserve food for 14 years that made him prime minister. Not dream. Are you getting what I'm saying? Because the magicians too had the ability to interpret things, but they could not preserve food. That was, it was his idea that made him prime minister. Now, hear what Pharaoh said in Genesis chapter 41. If you read from verse 38, let me read from 38. Okay, 39. What? Look at verse 38. And Pharaoh said unto his servants, Can we find such a one as this is? A man in whom, see capital S, even unbelievers, when you are walking by inspiration, they will know. It's a whom the spirit of God is. Who is talking? A magician? Who was Pharaoh? He said, this, this guy is not operating with our kind of wisdom. A womb, the spirit of God, what? He said, can we find somebody like this? He said, and Pharaoh said unto Joseph, for as much as God has shown thee all this, there's none so discreet and wise as thou art. Verse 40. Verse 40. And thou shalt be over my house, and according to thy word shall all my people be ruled. All in the house. Are you getting what I'm saying? And first says, See, I have said thee over all the world. Today you will rule. May somebody hearing the sound of my voice take over wherever you are found. It says, See, by your inspiration in you, rule this place. People with inspired ideas don't beg for leadership. They, you will have so much ideas that sinners can't deny it. They can't what? My God. But do you know what? Ideas, you don't wait. You can generate ideas through worship and praise. If you read the story of Joseph, Joseph was a man, was a praiseful person. Was a very praiseful person. Praiseful people don't lack ideas. Many of us thinking praise is just dancing, shaking waist, shaking waist, shaking waist. Yet you dance, but it's beyond that. As you're dancing, you should also be expecting the Holy Ghost to give you ideas. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. So here. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. May you have an idea. Yes. Number five, ideas flow when we engage God in heart, faith, Rooted worship and praise. Ideas what? The ideas from when you engage God in heartfelt worship and praise. This idols. It will flow in form of inspiration. In form of what? When you are inspired, you don't lack direction. You don't lack revelation. You just begin to get answers. What it does is when you love worship and praise, the Holy Spirit begins to inspire you with ideas. And those ideas will do what? Make you to be creative. And when you're creative, you begin to do exploits. Let me show you something. First Corinthians chapter 2. Look at the scripture. 9, 10, 11, 12. But as it is written, I had not sinned. None you heard. Neither has entered the heart of men the things which God has prepared for them. Now what? We know this one. God has prepared. You're a lover of God. But look at what. But God has revealed them unto us by his spirit. For the spirit searched what? Yea, the deep things. Before I go further. What is this? When you worship and praise, the Holy Ghost begins to move in your mental faculty. That's what comes by inspiration. He begins to stir your mind to begin to create ideas. Do you understand now? Hello. 
Do you understand what I'm saying? Now combine this verse 10 to Job 32 8. You get the time. Now, this, bring it. There is a vital force, a spirit of what? The spirit of intelligence that is already in you comes alive when you worship and praise. I may not understand that. At that point, the Holy Ghost begins to stir your mind because it takes over your mind at that moment. I mean, you can flow with me. And then all of a sudden, creativity began to appear. Ideas begin to drop. Ideas begin to what? Ideas begin to drop and then you become creative and you begin to beat everybody's hands down. But Christians don't utilize that. Rather, we listen to secular music. When you listen to secular music, it affects your creative ability. Hello. Are you hearing me, sir? Be careful. If you want to be inspired, to, you can generate ideas. You can generate what? By worshiping and praise. And when you worship and praise, you allow him to steer your mind with creative thoughts. And then at that moment, answers begin to come. I pray. Look, listen. Believers, hear this. If all you do is what they taught you in school, you'll be an average person. Because whatever you read, somebody who did not go to school can read it. All that you have read, others have access to them. So you have to come from the supernatural. To, that's why Joseph was able to beat the Egyptians. There are things you can't get from books. You must get them from who? The Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit loves music. That's why you must know the kind of music you play. You must be careful. You, for some of you, you think music, uh, anything I, I can play. No. The reason why you're not being inspired is because the kind of music you play, all the music you play, they are useless. You turn, shan, 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 you'll be seeing masquerade. It's of seeing. It's right here. May he reveal secrets to you. Amen. I don't lack secrets. I have a pattern. If I want to bait, I can never bait without a message or music. It's a lie. It's impossible I enter bedroom to bait without a music. If no music, I listen to message. You know why? At that environment, you are so concentrated. So when I'm within that place, I'm brushing, I'm shaving, I get inspiration from him. I don't lack any distraction. When I'm inside the bedroom, at that time you hear, you, you get ideas that nobody can teach you in school. The kind of ideas I get, they are not taught in any university. There's no faculty of wisdom in any school. Is there any department of wisdom in the school you attended? Is there any department of wisdom? So it's only God. Pharaoh said, there's nobody as wise as you are. That kind of wisdom is not taught in any school. And it can come through what? Music. Through what? Music. Many don't know. Watch when you play music, allow the Holy Ghost to stir your mind. He will give you inspiration that man can't teach you. Since God told me to take over the cathedral and say I should be a part, I get inspiration from him that I can't understand. On Friday, I was talking to a top lecturer. He prepared something. By inspiration, I told him, I said, this thing you prepared is padded. He said, no, no, no. I said, no, nah, I'm not an engineer. I'm not a quantity surveyor. But the Holy Ghost inspired me to know how. I can't tell you the secret. He told me this, how you will know how they, when they pad not taught by man, not from any human school, by him. He gave me an idea. So I said, you parted it. When he wanted to argue with me, I said, now, this I'll tell you. When I showed him, he was shocked. And he said, yes, okay, now, bring it down. I agree with you. I didn't argue with him because I was coming from a top inspiration by the Holy Ghost. I said, check here, it is padded. I don't know the terms, so I don't know the terms, yet I knew that it was padded. The Holy Ghost told me, this is how he padded it. So I told him, one point something billion was padded. I said, pull it out. He said, now, nah, no problem. 
we'll pull it out. I say, I know some of you are planning, all of you in the system, some of you are planning how you build estates, some of you are planning how you build, I said, I'll remove all those things. So inspiration. No, that is, even if I give another quantity surveyor, you won't see it because all of them are quantity surveyors. You understand the language? But by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. And how did I get it? I was playing music. When I'm studying deep, very deep, I play worship. And as I'm studying, I begin to get inspiration. And when I flow, I don't like stopping. Because when you flow, the moment, let me tell you, when you're studying and you're flowing or you're worshiping, don't align the distraction. One distraction will just cut you off. Shh. But Christians, we are studying. We are answering the phone call. Hello? 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 You want to say hello, you are disconnected. Because you can't be flowing with him and be flowing with man at the same time. Are you getting me? If you are just not inspired, you can discuss. But when you are inspired, disconnect from every mortal man. But I've got men are the biggest distractors to the flow of the Holy Spirit. Don't you see Peter distracted Jesus? I hope you know that. Who distracted Jesus? It was Peter. Who distracted Jesus? Peter. He said, get behind me. Who? He said, Peter, what you are saying is wrong. If Peter was to distract you, he passes through people. It is at a point he wants to speak to you. Somebody will be calling you, calling you, calling you, calling you, calling you. When you pick the phone, the, the whole inspiration will just make fiam. And what they call you for will have no meaning. I won't come visit you. <laughs> what do you mean I won't come visit you? The whole thing God wants to give us an idea will just make fiam. I pray today you will not miss his voice. So, Dancing and praising should not just be in the church. It should be a life as a lifestyle. Do it as a lifestyle. Not only in church, you dance, 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 dance. And most of us inspiration, most people don't dance because if I said, now nah, dance, all the demons will fly from you, you dance. Now nah, dance to get inspiration. So, Papa, an inspiration, 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 inspiration. Now nah, inspiration will bring money. That's what will bring money. Without an idea, you can't be wealthy. Wealth is a function of man's capacity to think. And thinking is an idea. Thinking is what? Ideas. If believers will change our perspective and begin to work on the Holy Spirit for ideas, we can never be average. I challenge all young people in this church, if in the next six months you don't have an idea to create wealth, they should beat you. If any young person is in this church unemployed from now till October, I challenge you, if you're unemployed, there's something wrong with you. Your brain is, at, is, 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 is the problem. Nobody should be unemployed. No young person. You can't be in your 20s in this church, in your 30s and your 40s, and say, I'm looking for a job. Now get inspiration to create a job. Are you getting me, sir? I said something in the third service that I'm about to close. I said, so I said, Nigeria is one of the wealthiest nations on earth. Nigeria is so wealthy that the people in Nigeria can't see it. You didn't hear me? Nigeria is so rich that you can pick Naira on the streets of Nigeria. It's one of the richest countries on earth. But there's a problem with African nations, including Nigeria. When they have anything, they must destroy it. And they have the hunter and the cultivator's syndrome. They are two different people. Now listen carefully, I'm closing with this story. Every nation has two sets of people. They have the hunters and they have the cultivators. It can be likened to Esau and Jacob. Can be likened to who? Esau was who? A hunter. And Jacob was a cultivator. Now, the one thing with the hunting is that a hunter will pursue one particular animal. I think you know. And he will kill that animal before he will eat it. That's the hunter. That's the nature of a hunter. He will make sure he pursues, they don't pursue two animals at the same time, they pursue one animal and they will kill that animal. Whatever they want to eat, they must kill it. True? And that was the nature of Esau. Now, but when Esau came back, you remember, he asked food from who? Jacob. How can somebody who went to the field ask food for somebody in the house? Who should ask food from who? It should be the other way. But how come the man who went to the bush was looking for food from the man who was in the house? This reason. Hunters don't know how to 
use what they want to produce anything. If a hunter come, he will sell the raw meat like that, even to today. You will not see a hunter who knows how to prepare a good recipe from the bush meat. Those who buy the meat from them will prepare good food, and the hunter will go and buy in the restaurant, even the natural. So what African nations do, this is it. Listen carefully. If, like Nigeria, they have oil, that is hunter spirit, they will, everybody will go for that oil till oil die. They will, <laughs> until they kill the oil, they will not stop. If it's gold, the whole people will go for gold till gold will die. Then the cultivators, this is what they do. They take the oil from us. They go overseas. They prepare it into different dishes. You know different dishes? They take that your one product. Jacob used the one meat from Esau. For, the food came from who? It was Esau who brought the meat. He prepared good food, recipe for him. I said, come and eat. Sell me your birthright. So they take the oil from you. <laughs> they go and produce so many products from the oil. And then give it back to you, say, take it. Buy it back from us. So you buy it back, and you beg them for loan. Just the way you, they sell. But say, if you want to take it, take loan from us. So you sell your bad right, and you take it from them. They laugh at you, and they say, useless man. <laughs> <laughs> they sell it to you, and then you remain poor. And they remain, at the end, they did not spend any dime, because it is your product they went to produce back. So they made more money. And that's it. How can Nigeria be poor? Very simple. There are 6, 6,000 products from crude oil. Buy products from crude oil. So all Nigeria need to do is to stop selling crude oil. Now open industries, factories, different. Even if you don't, we don't have money, tell the country that have the money, say, you, we will not sell you anymore. Bring that to your factory. Come and open it in Nigeria. And when they open those five Nigerias, all the youth in Nigeria will have jobs. And they will produce, so the wig you're wearing is from crude oil. The plastic chair is from crude oil. The capsule you drink as tablet is from crude oil. Crude oil has over 6,000 products. The products are not reducing in price. Listen carefully. Oil is reducing, but products don't reduce. So what the advanced countries, they do, they buy the raw material from you at a ridiculous amount. They produce those things and ship them back to you. So you buy them from them. At the end, they are still richer than you with nothing. Singapore does not have oil, yet they produce their products and you buy from them. Belgium has no oil. No natural resources. <laughs> but we sell our natural resources. America has more oil than you. Are you aware? But they don't sell their oil. Why do, are they stupid? No, they still buy from you. <laughs> they use their oil to produce the buy products. We don't have those industries. Yet we are happy that we sold a barrel of oil, a whole barrel of oil for $100. They say, well, this year the budget will be big. The man look at you and say, stupid. Mm. Because people don't think. They don't work. There's no unemployment in Nigeria. There's only a brain problem in Nigeria. We don't have unemployment problem. The system has to change. Create an atmosphere conducive for people to do business. Is that true? See Abia State now. Everybody's running to Abba because the man created an art atmosphere. Let Nigeria create what? An atmosphere where people can do no multiple taxation. One person will do one business, 50 people will give tax. No. Have a structure where things are done decently. Countries will come to invest. Create a security platform. Not everywhere kidnapping, kidnapping. Create a security platform where people can be secured. I tell you, Nigeria is not a poor nation. It's one of the wealthiest nations on earth. We don't have poverty problem in Nigeria. Nigeria is too rich. Too what? Nigeria is too rich. But even the believers, all you have to is contract, 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 contract. They were showing me a man who produces biscuit. He's a multi-blown They were showing me on internet, an boy man who produces biscuit. 
His biscuit is sold on all the airlines, top airlines. Biscuit, crackers, biscuit. Hmm? When he said, it was, I was listening to him, my wife showed me the story. I listened to his story because I like listening to things that will spare my brain. When he came to Nigerian banks, they were asking for collateral. When he went to abroad, they asked him the idea. You see the difference between Nigerian banks? <laughs> In Nigeria, they said, you should bring collateral. In America, they said, what is your idea? We'll give you the money. And they give money in America based on your idea. In Nigeria, they give you money based on collateral. How can somebody have collateral when they just start in business? <laughs> so they loan him dollars in America, but Nigerian banks was asking him for collateral. A young man who is starting business, but today is very rich. The foreigners know what is the priority. It is ideas that create wealth, not collateral. So our ideas are keep, keep going outside. Keep what? That's why we have the brain drain because the people with ideas can never stay here. In fact, you are going to pray. Next time when you're singing, don't be just singing for singing sake. Sing to get inspiration. Sing to get what? And inspiration will create Ideas and ideas will bring forth exploits. Are you blessed? Yes, That's why in your room you must always learn to worship and praise. When you're beating, play music. When you're washing, play music. When you are so, play music. And don't just play music for playing sake. Play to be inspired. The ideas I get, they are not in any book. You won't read them anywhere. I get ideas. Okay, one man. One soul, one week, one soul. Which book will you read it? Is it in any book? Eh? Which book? Except the Bible. But I was inspired. Since this vision started, you know, every week we grow. Every week this church grows. Every week this church, every week this church increases. Every week. True? Where did you read, where did I read it from? How can you be a believer? Everything you do, money to night, is man and woman talk. Money to night. No, it's a godly satanic. It's not of God. Your brain can't work like that. You get up in the morning, hello, hello, ah, babe, she don't come. <laughs> ah, no, no, don't walk that way. It affects the mind. It affects what? <laughs> Until you know how to generate ideas, you won't understand the difference. If you are somebody of ideas, you will switch off. But some people don't switch off, they don't know the difference. Money tonight. Man, woman, man, woman, man, woman, man. So no idea, no idea. From morning to night, ah, no now. Now, nah, 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 man, they give me money. Oh, now, nah, nah, is that what you talk from morning to night? So without man giving money, you can't generate idea. If man no give you money, go useless. A young girl, young boy. Now that babe, where they work for bank, you know what? I want marry him. So I want she become general manager. You go be waiting. A young man like you. Now, woman money, one chop. <laughs> Let me broke it. Then they chop woman money. Oh. <laughs> How can you? <laughs> a full fledged man, you want to depend on the woman to feed you. You are Nama and Nama woman. <laughs> a full fledged man, you are depending on the woman to. You are finished. You are finished. So, woman will feed you. Feed you. You know, young boys do the day, depend on women. They say, I'm looking for one girl. One girl that is working very well. Are you looking for a business partner or a wife? <laughs> if she can work in the bank. Bankers are very stingy. Uh, one of the stingiest people on earth are bankers. So you want to marry a banker? <laughs> they are very stingy. Except the, the word of God has transformed them. You see, oil company workers like Shell, very stingy. Bankers, very stingy. Police, very stingy. <laughs> There are professions where people are very stingy. Except those who have been transformed with the word of God. Lecturers, stingy. There are professions where the profession makes you to be stingy. Police. You don't see policeman give you something before? No. <laughs> I've seen banker. Banker will use 10, 10,000. 10, 10,000. 10, new, new notes. To... It's a general manager. If he wants to give you 50,000, he's as if he's giving you big money. It's a pastor. God bless you. 50,000 or 50,000. If you see a banker who is free-handed, God's word has transformed him. 
If you see a policeman with three hundred, God's word has what? Transformed him. If you don't say, I'm going to marry. <clears throat> My friend, use your brain. Rise to your feet. <laughs> Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout a big hallelujah. So when you sit on your own and you want to be spared, who is like unto thee? Oh God, who is like unto thee? Oh Lord, amongst thy gods, who is like thee? Glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders. Hallelujah. Let me say this to you. In my short time, I've worked with the Holy Spirit. I know how it works. Anytime you're communicating with Him, tied to the flesh, disconnect from people. It will spare you. He hates anything that will make you share his time with people. Anytime you want to be spared, no mortal man should disconnect you. No matter who that person is, shut your door. Don't pick up phone that moment. Allow him. You'll be surprised he will give you ideas. But our problem is, as he's trying to give us ideas, we're on phone. Hello? Hello? And you can't keep him waiting. He is God. So he said, okay, since you don't value my presence, continue. As you say hello, he will just leave you alone. You know, he said, grieve not the Holy Spirit. He's so sensitive that he, would he is not a demon to possess you. He will just walk away. When you worship here, watch me. If you worship here, not, you can stand. When I want to connect with you, you can stand before me. I won't see you. I'm standing before you. When I connect with him, I'll be looking at you like that. I won't see you. At that time, I switch off from every mortal man. I can be looking at you like this. I'm just listening to him. But if you're canal, see the way in dress. <laughs> see this babe, how should they look? As you're looking, say this babe is off. And he, he, he hates carnality. He hates what? <laughs> when you want to connect, disconnect from people. If you want to hear from him in 15 minutes, for goodness sake, those 15 minutes, give him that time. Allow him flow to you. You'll be, look, you can never be stranded in life. At every point, he will give instruction. He will tell you this word to do. This idea that will, I get ideas left and right. And somebody will be, will be some people are even musicians with no idea. That is, how can you be a singer? No idea for you. No, something is wrong. He flows with songs. So we are not just dancing for dancing's sake. In the third service, he said, everybody this season should have a writing material to record. He told me that. So this period, make sure at home you put a biro and paper. Because as you are worshiping and praising, he will give you ideas. And he cannot waste his thoughts. You write them down. Because when he gives you a thought, it must be written. If you don't write it, forget it. You are waste, God can't waste his thought. That's why Moses played with the first one. He said, go on, this time, go and stand there. Carve it out. All right, let's go ahead for the next... Seven minutes. As you're, as you're praising, your mind should also be open. Are you getting up now? I say, Lord, this area of my life, give me an idea. Give me what? In this area of life. Are you ready? Let's go all church in seven minutes. We bless you, Lord. You are holy. And forever you are God. We bless you, Lord, you are holy. And forever you are God. And yeah, forever you are God.
You will be very prophetic. He said, by this place, Lord, inspire me in this area. Inspire me what? You not just say inspire me. He said, inspire me with ideas in this. Because the expectation of the righteous, there must be a to expecting. Inspire me concerning my business. Inspire me with ideas concerning my marriage. Inspire me concerning the work in my hand. Inspire me what to do in this economy. Are you ready? Open your mouth and talk to him in the name of Jesus. To inspire you with ideas in a particular area of your life. Be very specific on how to handle issues. In Jesus' mighty name. From this day, you will never lack inspired ideas. Yeah. As you worship and praise, even at home, he will keep instructing you. Yeah. That challenge which you have asked him for an inspiration, for an idea, before this week of celebration is over, you will get an answer. Yeah. In the precious name of Jesus. And so shall it be. Amen. When you praise, be expectant. Be what? Be expectant. You know, if you're waiting for a call of somebody important, you are conscious. That's how you should be expectant that the Holy Spirit can give you the idea at any time. So don't think that you have to be, you can't be just driving. And then he'll just give you the idea. One of the wealthiest Nigerians who was unemployed and struggling as a young man, it was on a third midnight, third midnight bridge, a bridge in Lagos called Todd Midnight Bridge. He was driving on Todd Midnight Bridge when God gave him an idea on how to create wealth. He's a multi billionaire. He was a believer looking for a job. An idea just dropped on Todd Midnight Bridge. He exploded. So don't think that the idea will drop only when you're in church. It can drop even when you're in the covenant. Are you hearing me now? You can drop even when you're eating. But once it drops, do what you do. Right. Don't ever get an idea without jotting it down. Either in your, in your, in your iPad or in the, in the diary. Always make sure whatever God tells you, write it down. This week of celebration, God will give you an answer. Yeah. In the precious name of Jesus. Yeah. So fill your environment with worship and praise. But if you are not born again, it is only the living that praise God. Isaiah 38 verse 19. He said the living and the living shall praise him. We are not amongst the living. As at 38, verse, as 38, not 32. 38, verse 19. The living, the living, he shall praise thee. So you are not amongst the living except you are born again. Those who are not born again offer these prayers after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I've come to you. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that you died and rose to save me. With my mouth, I confess you. Thank you, Father, for saving me in Jesus' mighty name. If you offer that prayers, don't sit with others. Keep standing while others take their seats. Please attend to those who are standing. If today is your first Sunday to worship with Salvation Ministries, kindly stand. We want to welcome you. This is your first Sunday. Kindly stand. We want to welcome you. I want to welcome you on behalf of the head of the church, Jesus. You're welcome to Salvation Ministry, the home of success. Everyone standing, I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, that you a path of what God is doing here. 
I command your story to change. Everything you desire in your heart in line with God's word be granted in the name of Jesus. May you keep growing from one level to another. In Jesus, we love you and keep coming and your life will keep changing. Those that are undertaken will celebrate you. Please give them the form to fill and take back the forms. Those of you online, let us know you gave your life to Jesus. Please take this closing information. I will be done for this service. April, week of spiritual empowerment starts from Tuesday. <laughs> Listen carefully. It's a loaded week. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we have week of spiritual empowerment. Tuesday will be church in the house. Tuesday will be church in the... Wednesday, Thursday will be church in the temple. Tuesday, 6 p.m. Wednesday, Thursday, 5 p.m. And the team is wisdom for greater exploits. Friday, there will be special medical service online. Healing service, it will be with communion. I will be ministering from online to the world on Friday. We are not coming to church, it will be online. 6 p.m. on Friday. Tell all your brothers and sisters all over the world to hook up. People have health challenges all over the world. Good news. The anniversary will be on Saturday at 4 p.m. So it will be free dressing. If you love this church, then this week, come for 2 o'clock prayers. Everyone is a sacrifice. Say what? You fast and pray at 12 o'clock. So I think week will be a huge success. Everybody pray at 12. You come to the different churches and pray. Between the week, Monday through to Friday, 12 o'clock each day. Sunday will be special Thanksgiving service. We are thanking God for 27 years. God has helped us. Has God not helped us? Yes, sir. Yes, help us. Rise to your feet. Let's close. Always invite souls. Always win souls. The week of spirit empowerment should be loaded. It will be loaded. And God will help us. Are you blessed? Yes, sir. Oh, it was a hectic week for me. Only God helped me. Amen. A hectic I had all night on Friday. Went for evangelism. <laughs> Saturday morning. Early morning. Online morning devotion. Evangelism. Prepared message. Ah, I was just praying, church to close. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and now we are done. At least I can, I can rest before I watch match. <laughs> I watch match every Saturday, every, Saturday, every Sunday. Even Saturdays I don't watch most of time because of preparation of message. But Sunday I watch match. Don't deceive yourself. I watch match on Sunday. Am I going to preach again in the evening? No. After I sleep, I wake up. I watch football. You don't watch football. What do you watch? Huh? You go about. Don't you watch football? I've initiated my wife to football, so. <laughs> if you like somebody, somehow you wouldn't want to start doing the thing the person like. She doesn't need to watch football. Now she knows the footballers. You used to watch wrestling before wrestling. But I didn't follow her for wrestling. Because wrestling is too rough. I can't see two people who are not correlated to be beating themselves. <laughs> <laughs> There's one I don't like at all. They call it a, whether UFC or whatever. I, I hate that thing. Until they kill somebody before they will stop that thing. God, no, I like that keep person. How can somebody hit somebody so that the person will be gasping for bread? Then the people will be laughing. I don't like that thing at all. Some people will be bleeding and then they will just be laughing. It's so brutal. I don't like that one. Once they bring it, I turn it off. Uh, two people, no quarrel, no nothing. Then they say, go and kill yourself, two of you. Are you blessed today? Yes. This week shall be to you a week of celebration. Yes. Your life will exemplify what God is doing in this place. Yes. Whatever God has done in salvation means that you love. This week, even if you lack it, it will become yours. In the name of Jesus. Every good thing this church has enjoyed, we are not under any pressure. We don't borrow from today. Financial pressure leaves you forever. This church has grown with speed. May the speed of this commission answer to you as an individual. In the name 
name of Jesus. He has helped us. He will help you. Every miracle God has done here that you lack in your life this week it will be supplied. Whatever God has done in someone's life that you desire, this week God will do it in your life. In the name of Jesus. You will dance in the open. You too will celebrate. For those who came sick, be healed in the name of Jesus. You are made perfectly whole. Every sick, put your hand where you're sick. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command that disease, that plague, to go in Jesus' name. I rebuke that sickness in the name of Jesus. And I pronounce you healed in Jesus' name. Somebody with a sugar problem is healed in the name of Jesus. Low back pain is healed in the name of Jesus. I command that blind eye open in Jesus' name. I command the deaf ear open in the name of Jesus. I command the dumb tongue loose in the name of Jesus. Every sickle cell victim, I command genotype turn in the name of Jesus. Everyone with cancer be made whole in the name of Jesus. You are healed of every disease. And the Lord has time bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. The grace together, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet of the Holy Spirit, rest now by with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. God bless you. See you within the week in the next service.